Intro at all? There's no intro? <laughs> Good evening, Mr. Bennett. Oh, well, I didn't even see nothing. Usually I see it on my sign. I apologize for the delay, everybody. Thank you for everybody that's in here. I saw Mr. Bennett. I know the title says uh, the seventh episode, but I think I was having myself thinking I was already on seven. But it's actually six, but that's okay. That's okay. Because you still here. You still rocking with it. Alexis from Texas, aka your favorite reviewer's favorite reviewer, aka Expedia, because he say I'm a trip, aka, uh, is it? Yeah, it is. Zara two times. Maybe some of y'all looked at that name and said Zara. It's not Zara. It's Zara, like Sarah with a Z. That is also my middle name. And good evening, Mr. Bennett. Thank you for coming through. I appreciate it. Um, that's actually my middle name, Cash App, my Instagram, and all that. So wait a minute. Wait a minute. My light skinned brother is here. I, if I could play like those um those horns, like <laughs> Got my light skinned brother Mandrell up in here. How day? How day? So appreciative to you being here. But what I was saying, Zara two times. That's my middle name, and that's my daughter's first name. And I put two times because I explained to people like I remember when mom was alive and I would say that. And uh, she said, um, she was like, well, you're Zara number one. She will be Zara number two. And I was like, well, no, not exactly, because I took it as in I'm Zara number two because that name is my second name. That's my middle name. She's Zara number one because that's her first name. <laughs> so, but anyway, you know what I'm saying? It's all good. <laughs> Zara in here today. Because I'm going to step into that. My daughter is the one. Another reason why. Uh, 
I named this episode as far as we don't buy it, we review it. Because uh, my daughter, she asked me about something that we had, and she was like, Mommy, did you buy that? I looked at her like, Buy, buy. <laughs> I do buy some things. Whatever's not on my vine, that's what I buy. Whatever is not on my vine, so groceries and all that, that's what I buy. Anything else, if it's on the vine, we ain't doing it. So we don't buy, we review it. And it's a double entendre for this uh, episode. So last week, I was supposed to have these uh, chairs together and I didn't. But it's okay because we run it back. You know what I'm saying? Two times. Say it two times. Little Gucci man, if you don't know. But um, I got them together today. And I love my chairs. They go so well with the decor. You feel me? The decor of my kitchen and my little dining area. You feel me? Look, I told y'all when I be in my bag. I get in my Midwest talk and I hit my R's a little hard. You feel So, try to make this a little quick. Say, but yeah. So, these are, let me get you a little bag of that. Put your back. My new stools. Ooh, ooh. And I was sitting, I sit my pretty self in them. You feel me? And they nice. I like them. I like the 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 seat part as far as the brown and is I think they said it was leather. And like I said, because there's a lot of brown in this area of my house, and my uh, dining table over there is uh like a well, I ain't gonna say like a well, kind of like a. Because I don't think that material that they use is real wood. <laughs> but it's kind of. So I went with the brown for these chairs, right? To go with that. Have a little coordination. You know what I'm saying? You got to coordinate. Because, cause, you know what I'm saying? We be having the soup with the mushrooms in it. You know what I'm saying? And they be thinking like, oh, they're going to stop at the mushrooms. No. No, we got the mushroom belt, got the mushroom inside. If anybody could tell me where that came from, <laughs> might give a, get, uh, put down for that giveaway because I still ain't been able to do my giveaway because ain't nobody trying to trying to be on some answering questions because you can't get nothing for free. I know, well, you can. <laughs> ah, that I said that because I get things for free, but I really don't because I got to do the review. You feel me? I got to. But anyway, back to this item, the swivel chairs, because I think that's what they called on there, the swivel chairs. Let me get back. Let me get back. Let me get back. And you know what? Look, I'm going to tell y'all right now, if I do glitch or whatever and having some issues, then I think that's what happened earlier uh, in this widespread area of Texas right now. I mean, it's coming down. The rain is coming down. It's coming. It's not even. Look, it's raining frogs and toads. Okay. That's how serious this is. Frogs and toads. Oh, shout out to. And I appreciate it, Miss Grace. Um, and salute to another queen. Uh <laughs> We here, you feel me? We here. Shout out to Embracing the Grace. I appreciate you coming through. She always try to come through at least one time on the show to shout out, and I appreciate it every time. And hold on, is that Andre? Andre, yes. What's up, Andre? Look, he said it boomerang. That's what I'm talking about, Andre. Take you down, Andre. Gonna get that. Uh, $25 Amazon gift card. Holla. Holla, holla. So, go back to what I was saying. These chairs, and mind you, I ain't put them together. You know what I'm saying? I can read directions and put some stuff together. But if you're lucky enough to have somebody that can put it together, why not? Why, you know, go through all the, the rigmarole? 
of doing it. Because some things I do. Not all the things, because I'll be wanting uh, my dad to be like, oh, my daughter got it. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes so I put stuff together and then I look for my dad to prove it. Did I do it right? Yes. But no, these I didn't. <laughs> I did not. Okay. So put this right over her. Y'all get another gander real quick. Yeah, feel me. At this chair. I like it. I do. Uh, and this right here, like if you look at it, it may seem like it's a little on the on your back. And it is. And I'll get too much, but it gives enough. And the swivel thing that I just realized while moving it up and down, you gotta do this. Because <laughs> I was looking now, my other chair is like got the little handle thing, but this is the part down here and you just swivel it down and it kind of <laughs> go like that as far as going up and down which is kind of like a lot to some extent you know what I'm saying so when I do this review that's the only con I could think of I don't like like because I feel like if I just so happen let my child sit on it and they don't realize that possibly the way that it swivel that it might just come out <laughs> and then my child is on the floor no so uh, right now they don't sit on these grown folk chairs you don't need to sit in that anyway anyway but it came with two like i said i like the uh the look of them and all that good stuff so that is one thing i, I feel like they're appeasing to the eye i just don't like that uh up and down part like the hell like y'all trying to make people have a workout not that we can't but i didn't expect that okay so but anyway we gonna move on and oh trey said well, I don't want to say that because I don't want to confuse nobody. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to confuse nobody because there is some trays and all that good stuff out. But um, shout out to Trey. Uh, he says shout out to everyone. Hey, Alexis from Texas, a.k.a. Zara two times. Say it two times. I'm trying to do over here. Not once. Not twice, two times. So, as I was saying, on to the next one, on to the next one. Because I'm telling y'all, I mean, it's great pate, but we got a motor. We're going to get to the other thing. Ooh, you hear that box? Opening the box. Like, man, I'm telling you, my house is like, Box Central right now. Did y'all hear that? And then I recently found out that the place that I go to dump off trash every now and then, that um, you don't have to pay uh, for recycling. And I didn't even know. I was just hand because i thought that's what everybody else did and then uh this one guy he was like oh you know you ain't gotta <laughs> you don't have to pay for recycling and i was like no sir i did not know i did not know that i didn't have to pay for recycling but thank you for telling me that or well, he didn't say recycling but that's the gist of it uh you don't have to pay for recycling but he said you don't have to pay for cardboard boxes older white man flirting. He's like, I hate to see a nice, young, good-looking lady out here paying. I was like, oh, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. And I took it down for, like, next time when I went to go dump off all these Amazon boxes. I showed it. Go through the recycle land. I showed it. I showed it. And ain't pay not a man. Okay? Not a man. So, anyway, the next thing that I got, because we got to be responsible. 
know what I'm saying? I'm a I'm a young lady, good looking lady with two kids and a car sometimes. And like I said, if y'all can hear that rain and all that, you never know what can happen. So I was looking for something just to go along with my car, like uh things that'll be helpful. You know what I'm saying? And the other item that I got is a smart tire inflator. This is what the box look like. That's going to be going to the um recycling. So let me stop. <laughs> but, and it's, and, and it's so like convenient and small. And that's another reason why I had got it. Um, because I've seen some like portable ones before, but they're a little different and big, not like huge, but big enough. <laughs> and um, I thought this was cool. It comes with a little piece to charge it, look like a little blue uh Bluetooth speaker, you know what I'm saying? So hey, that off. Nectar, and that's for the charging. This is for the actual air intake. Look, righty tighty, lefty loosey. And then right here on the button, on the button, look, that's one thing that I be, <laughs> I'm still on the camera, like, which way is it? Okay, so. Obviously, up for more air, down to let it release. And then, I guess this part is like to run a balance. Let me see what the directions say in a minute. And then, I'm guessing like this is a light. It has a light on it. So, you can see and all that good stuff, which is, you know, that makes sense. A little bag for it to come in and have it for when you're traveling. This piece, the hookup, putting your car lighter port. If you, um, if it just so happens, if it's not charged up, which was a great idea, you know what I'm saying? Because you, you never know what could happen while you're out here. And this little, all the rest of the little pieces will go along with the connectors and all that. This is the part that you will be putting in the tire and all that so i haven't used it like if y'all listen like i literally just opened up the box um but i am gonna put it on the charger get it charged up and but i probably ain't gonna use it i would because you know i ain't got no problem ever taking y'all outside so y'all can see when i'm using certain things but um it is i'm telling y'all it is raining <laughs> Frogs and toads. Toads and frogs outside right now. But I like, like, you know, we like pretty things. And I think it's pretty looking. It's really nice. And so petite. And going in the car, it's like, you know, like I come out with the little bag and I be like, what she got in that bag? Cut for my tire. He wasn't ready. But a lot of people don't be ready. But I, but I suppose that we would be ready today, today. Cause that's what uh, we gonna be in for just a little bit. And then, yo, I got a smart lock. And I'm gonna show that one to you in a minute. But it was acting up, y'all. Like, I guess maybe the rain. Cause again, toads and frogs, frogs and toads. And uh, when I try to do my little finger press, like doo -doo, doo -doo, it wasn't, it wasn't doo -doo -doo, <laughs> cause of the rain. I'm supposing it was getting a little wet, even though I have my um my screen thing out there. Cats, no toes and frogs. So this is worse than cats than dogs. Oh, call it. If y'all ain't know, like I said, maybe a little controversial. That's one thing. Man, I'm going to tell y'all, 
that kind of just, <laughs> I've been getting a little aggravated with Amazon. And my daughter had to just be a little smart A this, this week. Because she was like, a box in a box. It's a box in a box. Like, stop telling me about all the boxes that I got to keep having. Did y'all see that? Another box in a box. Yeah, I'm going to be there Monday. Monday. Not bright and early. I wish I could be, but I got to take the babies. Need some scissors. Let me get that. This one wasn't trying to be easy for me to open and do all that stuff. As we can say. No, it's actually, I don't know, if, you know, because uh, some people that do it. And you might not, but everybody like on this 420 holiday, that's what people be acting like it's such a real holiday. <laughs> Kobe, Kobe, even with an ugly shot. But um, how y'all feel about that? How y'all feel about 420? You feel me? Um, basically, this is how I feel about it. And if you know, you know. But Eddie Kane don't need no ashtray. The whole world's an ashtray for Eddie Kane. You know what I'm saying? The whole world is an ashtray for Eddie Kane. <gasps> and I'm a girl. And I got something. It's supposed to help me not have to use my oven so much. But I'm gonna use my other sometimes still. Ooh, you gonna love this. That's off a movie as well. Hmm. It's a lot of pieces, of pieces of pieces. But Y'all running. And it says, thank you. Y'all welcome. <laughs> Y'all welcome. It's a new wave Pro Plus infrared oven. Don't that sound so nice? But I don't know. I don't know. It got some breakdown to it, like supposed to be like a, I think they say you can use it like an air fryer, you can use it to bake, and like, and this thing is like, let me show you real quick, like this circumference, like, you can put a nice size bird in here, and really make it do what it do, so, I'm excited about this, y'all, ooh, I'm really excited because I'm, I'm not going to lie. Like, I will use my oven, but depending on how this turned out, I don't even want to lie to y'all. This turned out really well. Um, look, <laughs> I won't use it because <laughs> this is something that I can sit on my counter and decrease the usage of my stove. Because I also think, like, um, I think this is supposed to be, it's, I don't want to say energy saver. I think it says something else, but it's supposed to be good with helping as far as saving on energy to where using my oven uh, and have to go through all that. I don't feel like I'm going to have this. Have as high as a electric bill using this <laughs> versus my oven, but yeah, this is like and it's kind of sturdy. Look at there, telling y'all, like I'm excited to use it. I'm really excited. That's the top part, and this is um. And I think they say you could use it like an air fryer too. But I already got an air fryer. 
and I really like my air fryer. So I don't know. Just it, I, I'm thinking that it's just going to be on a convenient type thing as far as if I use this like that. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh, nice. Like I said, I'm just putting this kind of together quickly because I want y'all to be able to see it. That nice. <laughs> That's a nice boulder. That's a nice boulder. I like that boulder. Um. Oh yeah, and it got like it's supposed to come with some recipes and all that. Yes. Okay. Let me let y'all take a gander at it. Oh man, this is so nice, ladies. If y'all look, look, I'm telling And if y'all click any of the links that I put to the stuff in the bio, ooh, from time, um, it'll take you to the items that I'm reviewing. Be interested in purchasing, or if you just want to go look at it and get a better understanding by looking at the details of it the links are in the description but yeah this is like yeah i'll probably put this over there on the other side hold on let's try it real quick see how i gotta do my setup like i said got my air fryer and this now Oh, yeah. Hey, I'm over here. It look nice. It look nice. And then my air fryer. <laughs> my stove over there. <laughs> you know, keep that, <laughs> keep that at bay with all my with all my stuff on my home appliances ooh, ooh, come back come back all right man it is it slowed up now it's doing it again y'all they said <laughs> look we ain't about to have <laughs> if they because they do a lot of, i don't know if it's like that in all the parts of texas but i imagine so um like a uh a burn bin to where they don't want people because especially out here in the country and a lot of people that own their land and things like that they um burn trash and um depending on the rain and how we did this year as far as our rain count like <laughs> what is it fourth of july they be like Nah, they don't. They don't want us uh, popping firecrackers, or they don't want people that um, are able to, you know, burn their trash and all that. They like, nah, it's a little too dry. Ooh, look, it's a little too dry. It ain't wet enough. Oh, I ain't even gonna say pause. <laughs> it ain't wet enough. So, see how that turned out. But yeah, uh, with all this rain, like we should be good. They shouldn't be like, oh, y'all can't do nothing this year. Because it, it seemed to have been like that. I don't think it was it last year. I don't think it was too bad last year. But I mean, when I say like <laughs> it was dry, like that was going on for a few years. Um, so hopefully we be good, man. So we got the rundown real quick. We got the air, the tire inflator. We have the new, the new wave. Man, I'm looking at it across from me like it just looks so nice. It look real nice. And my kids here. And you know the best thing for us girls, we like nice things. We want everything. You know what I'm saying? But nice things might not be enough. Side note, it might not. 
because uh, you got to have something else. And just, uh, I got like two more products left. Yeah, one, two, three. And uh, I'm a review. You know, I, I did the chairs. Haven't done that or the inflator yet. But we're going to do the review. Just like we can review a lot of things. A lot of things. We can review a lot of things. From products to how people are moving to you being ugly. <laughs> but yeah. Also, you being good looking as well. Uh, a restaurant. A hospital. Because they do take ratings on the hospital. Uh, my last episode, I was talking to y'all about um, a little bit on fitness and, you know, going to hospitals and things like that, or going to see a doctor and how important it is to make sure that you're telling these doctors what you're coming in for, what you need. Don't let them just rush you out your appointment. Nah, sit there. I Look, I don't know what, I don't know what this word means. <laughs> you put this word in my chart. I don't know what this word means. Please break it down. Please uh, make sure you're in all understanding in whatever you do when you're talking to a, a doctor and making sure all that stuff is getting together. So, oh, I did put those on there. I did. So, um, we're going to move around just a little bit, just a little bit. My house, I don't have central air at my house. I have a lot of uh, window. I ain't going to say a lot. I got like three window units. And they do pretty decent. I have a big one in my living room. And um, I have a good amount of sunshine and windows in my home. And what I have right here is this bigger window. Oh, that's... Where is it caught up on there? Yeah, I get caught up on that. Look, be a little kid for a moment. I'll be on my son about not standing in my couches. But yeah, I got this big window. This big one. I like it. It's really nice. Uh, especially in the way of the core. <laughs> but, like, I see these big heavy curtains I got up here. Blackout curtains. Because helping me with trying to keep this home cool, being that I don't have a central air conditioning. I do a lot of blackout curtains and to kind of keep the sun from taking away all my coolness in my home. Ooh, wait a minute, just so, so y'all can see. The champs is here. So, recently, I got these velvet back out curtains and i'm telling y'all like legit i could tell the difference in the cooling of this part of my home now that i got like main part of not even main part it's like every window in here now has blackout curtains all my windows and oh yeah let me tell you these are velvet <laughs> real nice and soft and I like, I was a little worried, okay, because sometimes the, like, the big curtains over there on my big window, I like the inside of those, and it doesn't look bad because they're facing the sun, and sometimes, just like, I ain't gonna say sometimes, y'all know if the sun is setting on something long, there is going to be a discoloration, but... With this type of material, because it's different from like the regular blackout curtains, but it's like like good material. But um, I don't think the fadeness of the inside, which I mean, I don't know who's gonna be looking outside this window. Shouldn't be nobody because this is like towards my back yard. Like, shouldn't be nobody over there, <laughs> like looking and seeing if it does this color. But I'm telling y'all, these as soon as I got it, and I was working right, and Amazon came up to the door, and you know, Amazon tells you when uh 
this stuff is coming and how many steps uh steps what is it what does it say stops that's what it says how many stops away it is and as soon as i got those curtains y'all i'm telling you as soon as i got them i'm sitting at my desk over there i open them up and put them over there immediately immediately <laughs> and i turn the air on and i'm telling y'all like i could just feel it the difference in my home now with having all the blackout curtains on all my windows to try to keep uh the coolness inside from that sun because that man i was telling uh my landlord like yo possibly getting another unit because last year that heat last year was uh, it was something <laughs> like i was like god look look if this your way of telling me that i don't want to go to that you don't want to go to hell got it thank you lord thank you <laughs> that's all that's all i need but um and now that i'm working from home and it's really important, like, you know, having computers and stuff like that. It needs to be cool in the home. So that was another reason as far as why I got the curtains. And when I was thinking about um, getting another AC unit, and granted, uh, this past couple of weeks ain't been as hot as, like, the summer is when it gets in Texas. But it was hot enough. And like I said, y'all, I could tell the difference in my home with now having all blackout curtains on all my windows. Is that one? And I might try to get a little, like, I don't know. Because they do have, um, you know, different measurements and all that type of stuff. But I don't want nothing blocking the AC unit over there. If y'all see it in the corner right there. And there's a little window above it. And I was even thinking about getting, like, one of those half little and put it right over that. But uh, when I... And we'll see as time going, but just getting that velvet one, and I like it, it felt so soft, and and it looked good in there. And mostly everything as far as my living room in that area is black, and so it like I'm I could feel the difference, and amazing as uh what's the name would say amazing, but um. Like I said, I'm gonna give it, and then this week we supposed to be getting a whole lot more rain, so I'm not probably going to be using my AC as much, but still um, a good product to have. Um, like I said, I'm telling y'all, like I could, it man, I can really feel the difference from having that. So. The last name, my smart lot. Let's see, y'all. Let's see if if it's going, because I it sounds like some of this rain then went down just a tad, just a tad. So and look, I had to get it installed. Took them a whole lot. And mind you, I ain't do this. Okay, like I said, I got people to help me, and I'm in a good community, especially with other parents. And all that good stuff. So, and it came with the downloadable app and all that good stuff. So I can lock it from the app. It um has you see all that rain on it right now. Um, and then look, automatically locks it. it automatically locks. I think I got it set on five seconds. And I'm probably gonna have to change that to 10 because I felt myself rushing out the door. Like, hurry up, Lexus put blocks on you when I went to go drop my babies off. But uh hold on, let me grab it to wipe it off. Because I'm telling y'all, when I was <laughs> running up in here trying to get to where I can make sure that I'm here for y'all being accountable. <laughs> I was like, man, it was not like really trying to read my finger. And I, oh, and it came, it does come with, you know, extra pair of keys. Oh, look at that, lighting up and everything. Comes with an extra pair of keys. Um, also cards, little scan cards that you can use. And then it has the code, but I don't, I don't really have too much of a code. Uh, well, I have a master code. But I don't have like just a regular code to um as far as when we're coming in and out. 
my sister came over here yesterday. She was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to come see you. Da, da, da. Yeah, please come see me so I can get your fingerprint <laughs> because she comes to my house a lot. And I ain't even about to get it. Look, hey, how day, cowboy, lost the treasure. That's big bro. Big bro, you probably gonna have to pull up in a minute. In a minute. So, get back. Do it. So, I got, let me see. There you go. That's it locking again. Light up. And I would take it up. So, but it's raining, y'all. But know that it works and it's awesome. But it's raining. So I don't really want to uh, step outside right now because I only got socks on. They red socks at that. So, look, let's see. Okay. Woo! And, it, uh, 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 <laughs> and it's green. Hey, y'all see my fingerprint. And then it locks again. Turn red. And it's gone. Ooh, y'all wasn't ready. What? Close, hurry up. Ah! Yes, look. We high tech, you feel me? And I'm I'm so excited about that. Now, right now, I got three fingerprints on it. And it's mine's, my daughter's, and my sister. So I put my daughter on there. She was so excited. Uh, my son, he was kind of little. I want my own fingerprint. I was like, bro, I might do it one day or when school start. But um, and that's the main reason when I saw that item, I wanted it because my daughter, she's in elementary, and my son is about to start kindergarten um next August. What well, this coming August, and so. Uh, I'm also going to be taking them out of daycare because um, their bus stop is less than three minutes away. And um, that's legit like me getting in the car, starting my car, leaving my driveway and getting to the bus stop takes me less than three minutes. And um, I wanted that because uh, sometimes just depending, you know, I'm my sister or anybody else. If they so happen to grab them for me and bring them here, you know, my daughter could easily get in. If she doesn't have her key, she doesn't have to, you know, because she does have a key and she has been real responsible with it. Um, but if I can alleviate that little detail just for a moment as far as her um, using it, which she knows how to use. And I was talking to my sister and finding out, you know, there's some kids that don't know how to use the key and when she said it to me i was like dang like parents they teaching their kids how to use keys but then again if your child you know uh doesn't have to be at home for whatever reason by themselves or things like that but i just thought like maybe every child should know <laughs> like how to use the key because you never know like where are they be? And I, I don't want my daughter to be like 21, <laughs> just not learning how to use the key. But, and also, like I said, I'm not trying to down any parents that children right now, if your child, I, I, what's a good age? What's a good age that y'all think that a child should be knowing those type of things? You know what I'm saying? I, my daughter is eight. She'll be nine in May. And I think she got her key. Did she get it before she turned eight? She might have, but um, yeah, I I just thought it was, you know, you never know. Like, even if I didn't give her her own house key, um, I mean, I also keep a spare key hidden off somewhere. <laughs> so, um, and she knows where that is. So just in case of anything, she can get in the house. Um, even with that smart lock, like it's for the front, but. Um, my key, um, it unlocks the, my key for my bottom lock unlocks the back door and still, it, like I said, it's the bottom lock key, but, um, 
I still have my spare key out there because you never know. And um, but I'm personally not going to be locking my bottom lock like that too much anymore because I have that one. Um, but it is what it is. You feel me? But I like it. Like my daughter, it, like <laughs> when she came home and she saw it was installed, and after I set it up and got everybody's fingerprints, and she was just so excited. And her and her brother kept going outside just so they could do it and. <laughs> And, you know, I let her do it maybe about six times. And then I had to get, hey, now I'm running, I'm running in and out. My light bill going to be sky high. <laughs> hey, look, shut up. I know y'all know about that. Hey, don't be running in and out this house. And my light bill sky high. Now, hey, don't be running in and out this house. Letting out my good air. <laughs> the good air. But, um, yeah. So. That was five, count them, five items so far. I apologize if y'all feel like I was going through them quickly, because I was. I wanted to get to where we are now. You feel me? Now. Yes. Hey, shout out, Trey. You know how I do. You know how I do. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> A.K.A. Foxy Brown when she got the fro out. Yes. So, let me tell y'all, I broke down to y'all, like on my first, second episode about how I felt when I finally started doing YouTube shows. And this is how I felt, y'all. I, I didn't want to get into what everybody else was getting into. I felt like there was a lot of people doing some talking that I just... I don't care to be in those type of conversations like that, like that. I don't want to say like, um, cause y'all see me getting on panels and talking about certain things and getting in on some of those conversations, but it wasn't something that I felt like I wanted to be a creator doing. I feel like there's a lot of people in this space doing their thing towards that type of stuff. And I want to let them do their thing. And I just decided that what was for Alexis was for Alexis. And I feel like this is me. It is like, there's no fronting. There's no trying to act like um, something that I'm not. There's no faking it, man. Like, I'm just not, I, I, I'm not. And besides, <laughs> I'm too all grown up to be in the rug rat world with some people or in a rug rat YouTube space with some people. I'm just too much for that. So when I first started doing this YouTube thing, it was, it was a little over two years ago when I really started and I met some good people in the space. Uh, one of the first people that I met, I, and I don't even, you know what? Because uh, I, I watched Cynthia G. I wasn't like somebody that was watching her like I love Cynthia G and all that type of stuff. But I like, and then also because there was a different time with Cynthia G when she wasn't uh, on or it seemed like um, on this He-Man Hayden Man Club. <laughs> and uh and I, and then it, this, she did some content that was uh, sometimes talking about celebrities and different things. But um, because I watched some of her content, it would, of course, you know how the YouTube algorithm is, it would, you know, show me other people that it was talking about her or, you know, was on some of the same stuff that she was on. And one night I just came across somebody that was sitting in a chair talking about some stuff. And I was just like, this is interesting. And he was just going in. And uh, so I just got up there. Like, I never like really got up there on. That was my first time, like being in on it, like stepping up on the panels and whatever. And um, this person crazier than a road lizard. I'm gonna just throw it out there. Crazier than a road lizard. And um, we have, uh, he 
I did a like a maybe like one or two shows on his uh network just to get my feet wet and um it also helped me uh understand where I wanted to go with YouTube and gave me time to work on an idea, how I wanted to present it, and to make sure that <laughs> all of me is in there. I ain't even gonna say pause. I'm in there. You feel me? So last week there was some conversations with some with some people in the space. And I kind of felt like my title. I was like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't buy it. People talking about a lot of things in this space, acting like they are something that they probably are not. But who knows? But I don't buy it. You know what I'm saying? I know Malcolm X said, said something like, <laughs> I don't dance unless I hear music. And then he said something else to that context. And that's how I feel. <laughs> like, I'm just not taking everything. Just because you put syrup on shit, don't make it pancakes. Okay? But I will review it. I will. That's what I do. You know what I'm saying? That's in my description, like, in my resume now. I'm a qualified reviewer. Amazon reached out to me. When I tell you I ain't you this divine life, this divine life chose me. They reach out to me. I was chosen. I was picked. So I'm not pandering and I'm not being a pick me. I get picked in life. I get picked with my job as far as responsibility and somebody that my supervisor turns to to make sure like, oh, the, the first person we need to make sure is on this is Alexis. Amazon felt that Alexis for Texas, they needed me. They needed me, not you, me. And uh, there's a lot of other things I get picked on, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, guys like the way I look. <laughs> they trying to pick me, and I just sit back, and I, you know, thank you kindly. Uh, so I'm a, you know what I'm saying, I think I'm qualified in this thing as far as when it comes to being picked and when I'm going to speak on certain things. So I'm going to speak on some things today. I, I got my brother from another mother and father here today and um yeah introducing to some introducing the son because he's he's like you know what i'm saying big time big time big time <laughs> and look i'm extra you know what i'm saying i'm extra real extra so i like to let me get my stuff right get my stuff right had hey, my brother come on, on up, you feel me? Cause uh yeah, 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 yeah. I I, I feel like I done talked enough. I sped through all my uh all my items because I was just like, yeah, I need I I wanna get into this. Do y'all feel me? I wanna get into this. And I look my thing, David, where you at? Now, there we go. See, now it's working. I'm telling y'all, this, this weather got my stuff all, like, all. I apologize if I'm glitching and things are going slow. It's just the weather right now. Toes and frogs. Trying to add them. Are you there? Because I can't see nothing. You can't see me? There we go. Yes. Tell y'all. We here. Fine. How did it go away? I'm, look, I'm telling you, I'm so sorry. This this weather got everything acting up. Can you see me now? Wait, okay, there we go. That's why I'm so glad David is here. Thank you, David. Thank you. Shout out to David. Shout out to David. I ain't talked to David in some months, man. It's been a while since I ain't. And it keep going off. Oh, oh there ain't no love in the heart of the city. Where's my mic? Ain't no love. Uh. And it keep going off. Go. I don't you understand. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Blaze. He said, peace and abundance, Alexis. Mine's in the chat. Hope all is well. Stop through. I appreciate you, Blaze, for stopping through. I really do. And he said in his rug rap world, I'm telling y'all, 
I and I've been saying that, yo, I done this uh some people saying that like people be trying to send me stuff or trying to get me riled up or trying to make me and I tell them that I be like, hey, yo, I'm just a little too all grown up to be playing in this rug rap world with y'all, okay? And then I don't say nothing else. Cause I ain't got it. Jay. Yes, ma'am. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Can you hear me? You can't hear me, girl? I know our audio ain't messing up. You can't hear me? You can't hear me, girl? Here's the problem. You on the stage live, but she had a little glitch, and she usually would have some kind of Chromebook. And I'm blaming based on the Yo, resources. Y'all. I'm telling y'all, this thing got my stuff active. Oh, David, uh, don't put your business out there. He said she on a Chromebook. <laughs> Hold on, what happened? What happened? I can hear you. Can you hear me? Can you hear now me? Now I can hear you. I could not hear nothing. All right, that's what's up. <laughs> he said, that's what's up. Oh, that's what's up. You can hear me now. Thank you. I JVJ from the JVJ Network. Uh from uh let's talk with JVJ. Uh from Alabama. Uh Damn. <laughs> you don't give my address next. Look, yeah. I love it. I love it. <laughs> hey, so look, 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 look. I want you to go, you know what I'm saying? Um go ahead and talk. <laughs> as far as how you feel, how you feel about how you feel about stuff that we ain't buying, but we gonna review it. How you feeling about that? Well, I'm gonna start off by saying uh, I appreciate you letting me come up tonight to talk with you about this. Been, you been so nice for a little while. Yeah, I got it. Like, I'm trying to put on my professional. <laughs> suit I got my Batman stuff, so I'm out here to get all the villains tonight. Ooh. But, uh, Appreciate you for letting me come up and talk about this topic because you know me and you talked offline about it a little bit. Shout out to Black Man Unfiltered. Shout out to David, CBN, CBNs all day. Appreciate all y'all. But uh, yeah, man, I think I think it's a time and a period, like, and your title is perfect for it. We don't buy it, but we'll review it. And that can be for Amazon products, Walmart products, or people that decide to want to put themselves on the internet and preach a certain type of thing, but you know, we kind of see the flaws in the uh, <laughs> we see the flaws in the in the product, if 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 I do say so. But uh, uh let me come up to talk about this because we've been having a lot of issues over the, the previous couple of days. We've seen the stuff that's happened with uh I know a lot of people might know this group, uh group by the name of Fresh and Fit. <laughs> Who fake and fried or Oh, okay, fake okay. And, fake and fry. Oh, you look around when I did a video on them boys uh, a little while ago. You remember it was probably like a year or two ago where we uh we talked about them getting exposed, and now it's just coming back full circle again. But they're not the only ones that are on here on the internet faking it to they making it, and a lot of people still faking it and ain't made it yet. Technically, actually, technically, they're not fresh and fit. They're dumb and dumber. Just let you guys know. Uh -oh. Uh oh, dumb and dumb. <laughs> hey, look, we gonna get all the names out here. I'll be doing the voiceover of what their real name really is. I could care who they are. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. But we got a we got a lot of people in these spaces on YouTube that speak on different things. Like me, like Alexa said earlier, me and her met through one person who I actually thought was a fake one in here, and I think it proved out. But Cynthia G. And we met that way. And that's crazy, because think about it. We met a few people that came over from Cynthia G that we cool. Cynthia yeah. G wouldn't want, <laughs> Cynthia G wouldn't want us to Hold be on. cool like this. Hold on. The Cynthia G, a.k.a. Cynthia Scarecrow? Yes, ma'am. I mean, yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> hey, I'm from Brooklyn. I'm here to roast. I'm sorry. Ah! You get to be named. I'm coming in with a hammer. Hey, but you know what? David, just 
just we we got you. We're gonna let you go there. We're gonna let we're gonna let uh, it, other people that may want to come up. We're gonna let y'all go there too. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't buying it, but you review it. Let's... Uh, once you mention the name, I'll show you the real name is right off the bat. Ah! <laughs> but uh look, 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 look. So go ahead, JVJ. Go ahead. Say it, say it. Talk, talk, talk about these people that we know. Talk about these people that we know. Like like the big names. I don't even really I don't even think it's really uh the issue to go at the big name guys. The big name guys, because we all know who they are. Mm-hmm. But, uh, I actually decided to jump on the other day over on Black Man's channel, and I saw something that was very disturbing. And I think a lot of the gentlemen that were on the panel kind of saw it too. And I don't know. I think there's three types of men in this world. Just throwing it out there. Three type of men. You got wolves, you got sheep, you got sheep dogs. And Hmm. I see a lot of these sheep trying to follow behind these fake wolves that pretend to be sheep dogs. Hmm. You got a lot of people that get on here and try to talk about three kings of a (laughs) so-called three kings of certain spaces. I'm not going to say the spaces names, but none of these people seem to recognize these people or shout them out. Um, can uh, can I insert can I insert some Brooklyn real quick from my brother David? We don't believe you. You need more people. Go ahead. It's just it's just funny to me, and we need to we need to stop with the nonsense. I believe anybody that gets into a space, like it'd be funny if Alexis was on here reviewing products, but didn't really review products. <laughs> like. Like, it would be it would be kind of weird like why are we watching her talk about reviewing products but she don't really review products she just grabbing something off her shelf in her house it's like yeah y'all seen this new product that I'm talking <laughs> about? we would think it's a little fake so we have to have the same energy for people that talk about whatever they talk about in their niches if they're not walking it like they talk it and we got to get away from that we really got to get away from that and i think right now we gonna um <laughs> We're going to put some stuff on blast because I came on here the other day. I came on here the other day and talk, was talking to the gentleman, black man. I think Trey Ferg was on there. I think uh, I can't remember all the names of the gentleman. Uh, Freezy. Freezy. Hey, shout out to my Freezy. brother. Shout out to Freezy. Freezy was there. Yep. Uh, I can't re- remember the name of the other guy that was co-hosting with black man. Lost in translation. Lost in translation. Okay. Lost my brother, he in here too. A.K.A. Lit. AKA lit. There we go. That, that was one of the gentlemen, but one of the gentlemen that really bothered me, and he's one of the people that I'm gonna say something about tonight. Mr. V Ben Israel, the self-proclaimed people's champ. I don't know how somebody can be a person's well, the people's champ, and the people ain't supporting. But um we gotta we gotta get right with a lot of our our so-called elders, because I know he likes to call himself an elder in this space. And Alexis, should I really say y'all this? Tonight? No, because <laughs> I don't want to embarrass this man, man. Nah, he 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 ain't had feel no way about what he was saying. Why should you? There, there is a lady on my that that I deal with that black man deal with, and Alexis, you know who I'm talking about, Miss Miss uh, Embrace the Grace. I take I take uh offense to somebody calling a dead man, the father of one of the people that I deal with, father a uh, punk ass man. Mm -hmm. Because a woman feels like she needs to have a strategy if something possibly might happen if she goes out on a date. Have an extra strategy. Strategy. That's that's that. I think that was a topic at the time because I believe us as men, us as women, if we go anywhere, we need to be watching our surroundings. Yep. We need to always be planning ahead of if something goes wrong, this is the easiest and the fastest way to get out. And when a woman expresses that, a woman should not be talked down to for saying that she has an extra strategy. And damn sure her father, her dead father, that should not be insulted. Yep. We were talking on the, the channel the other night about a beauty standard. And this is a generalization of the beauty standard in Western society. And for a long time, it was a white woman with a flat booty. We 
We know what that is. And for people to come in and argue against that, talking about Jet Magazine this, and then we pull up Jet Magazine from the same year that the person was referencing, and they had a flat booty black woman on the cover because they were trying to emulate a certain beauty standard. We have a lot of people that sit in, in spaces that talk about, I'm older and I know better than you, but we'll be, we'll get offended if you call them a baby boomer. Mm. But you supposedly older than other people. We need we need to get right. It's a lot of people out here selling products that we're not buying. Mm. We're not buying it. Like if you're not walking it like you're talking it, if you're gonna sit out here and say single mothers shouldn't get have anybody coming up dealing with them, and then we find out behind the scenes that you talking to a woman that has kids. We got an issue right here. It kind of sounds like some Walter type fresh and fraud type incidents going on around here. I don't know these women, but you right up behind them. If if you say that I'm not gonna, I'm gonna be a man. I'm be respectful because I need to be an example for the people in my community or the people, the men that are coming behind me, and say if a woman lets me know that I ha that she has a man, I'll fall back. But behind scenes, you are still constantly talking about a man that came to check you about talking to his woman when you said on. Live stream that you don't care <laughs> if she has a man. Mm. I think we're not buying this product that you're selling. And I think a lot of people need to understand this. Please stop saying that you know somebody and been talking to somebody for years when that person ain't even been on the space for years. Like, it just doesn't make any sense to me. Hold on. Wait, Jay. You got to carry the one. C carry the one. Yeah. Carrying the one makes it make sense. Just carry it's the amazing one. To me. It's amazing to me, like, for all the people that do know what I talk about over on my side. Oh, go ahead and read that from a girl. You know it. Where is it? Oh, Alexis got that slow computer. Oh, I love it when my protectors protect. I'm always going to have my girls back. Like, it's it's amazing to me because, Alexis, you have been around for a while when I was doing my stuff. You see the comments that come through. Oh, he hates women. No, no, I love women. I can't stand hoes. <laughs> I can't stand hoes. There's a difference. I don't care, I don't care if it's, they got a vagina between their legs or they got a penis between their legs. And I know what my girl Miss Embrace stands for. I know what my girl Miss Alexa stands for. And I'm not for these dudes coming in because when they act like they speak for a certain group of people, they act like because I wrote a I wrote a school novel at the age of 15 that I'm a published author. Ain't nobody reading that shit. When you act like you speak for us, you give us a bad name. And that's not what we're here for. If we're going to be talking about relationships and things of that sort, if we want to be people that people come to to listen to our advice and they actually garner what we're saying, we actually need to be the product that we want to see. Be the example that you want to see in your community. I'm a three king, right? But uh, nobody in this in this space recognizes you. Who are you? Like, who? I don't know. I, I'm just really tripping. Like, I remember when my girl Miss Embrace the Grace was starting off on YouTube. One of the biggest things that I kept pushing her when she came to my network was, I want you to invest in your channel. Stop worrying about this network. This network's going to do what it does. I want you to build your channel up. Mm. Within less than two years, this girl has already grown a channel that somebody claims they're a king of a space in. Mm. Grown it. Grown mm. it. She's over here on Black Money Unfiltered putting in content. This girl is networking in with all these different men, growing relationships, while yep. somebody will sit back and pretend mm -hmm. that there's something that they're not. We can't have fake men around here. I think we need more men to step up and say something to them. And I know, ladies, it's going to be hard for y'all. Alexis, I already know how it goes because when y'all speak up and say something about these type of people, they try to call you emotional. Mm. Nah, you just calling the spade a spade. You can sell it, buddy, but we ain't buying it. <laughs> that's that's going to be the title all night. Tonight. All night. But we will review it. We and that's what it. we're doing tonight. <laughs> My girl and hold on, I just want to interject real quick. And because when I was telling y'all, like, I didn't mean to come in this space and trying to be on some smoke type of stuff, 
I felt this was necessary because I was there that night with the fellas. And um, I was also there years ago, years ago, when things started. Like, like JBJ pointed out, Grace came from, me and Grace came from a similar background as far as the people that we were in a circle with. And Jay is right. He was, the same stuff he was pushing to Grace, he was pushing to me. Alexis, you could really, if you want to. And I told him that I'm lazy, basically. <laughs> but me, but even then, ah, look, look. But even then, because if I'm going to commit to something, I'm going to commit to something. And, I, and I'm not going to play games. And when I got down to finding things, I have been committed to this. But go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> That's all. hundred percent correct. You were hundred percent correct. Because I remember when you used to come over, and you had your arguments, you had your position about things. There was a lot of, hey man, y'all need to chill out, bro. Let 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 it talk. Let it talk. But it seems that a lot of people have revisionist history. And I'm going to just say it. I know ladies like to call a lot of men narcissistic. And I, I truly believe majority of narcissistic women on this planet. But we got a lot of narcissistic men. There are some people out here floating around that want to be a voice in a space where people are not. But it, it's, it's, I, don't, I don't think it gets any more towards a form of narcissism to call yourself the people champ. And the people don't support you. I'm just being honest. I'm not trying to be mean. I think it's I think it's very hypocritical when grown men, because we talk about what grown men should do. Grown men should have conversations, kind of like me and you're doing right now. We should be able to, even if we disagree, to be able to come to a table, have the conversation, whether we disagree or not, we at least have the conversation. That's how we build. We always talk about black people cannot work together. Mm -hmm. Well, we got certain people talking about drop me $50 in my cash app if you want to talk to me. I don't know where they do that at. I don't know where they do that at. And I'm wondering if somebody just needs some money. <laughs> if you need help, just say that. <laughs> look, look, I like that comment from Blaze. Yeah, look, I just, I like it. Yeah, look, 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 look. I'm not on smoke time, Blaze. I'm not. I opened the show. Look, it, I was talking about now nah, I ain't over the show, but but I mentioned it earlier. It's 420. It's 420, man. Like, I ain't with the smoke. But uh I don't need no ashtray. The whole world of ashtray, <laughs> man. <Eddie K. laughs> yep, the whole world of ashtray for Eddie K. So that's what I'm being right now, the ashtray. Daddy. <laughs> oh, look, 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 go on, Dad. I did not know it was 420. Look on that, though. It's perfect. It's perfect. It's perfect, 420. I didn't know it. Mm -hmm. This is a. Uh, I'm just really bothered with these fake men in the space. And, like, I think we need to. I need we need to start weeding this out because it seems like a lot of average human beings seem to have an issue with being able to detect bullshit. And I'm getting tired of that. I'm really getting tired of that. was one of me and Alexis' biggest points of contention when we first met. Remember with Cynthia G? Mm -hmm. My biggest thing was black, delete how black male babies. I was like, what the hell? Like, I didn't yeah. get how anybody could follow behind it. But slowly being around, she started listening to a lot of the shit she was saying, finding the intricacies. Because I know a lot of other ladies, even my girl, Miss Lena, who positive vibes. I'm going to put it like that. Positive vibes. She was like, well, I just tune in the good stuff and I tune out the bad stuff. We don't really operate like that. We got to we gotta call a spade a spade if we see it. Like, if your son deleted seven people, but he gave ten people five dollars, I don't think those ten people he gave five dollars to is going to outweigh those people that he deleted. I'm just throwing it out there to you. Like, like he can be a good boy, but, uh, that's that's not all it is to the game, and we have to take everybody as a full circle and weigh the good and the bad. We have a lot of people in this space that are not what they present themselves to be, and we need to weed it out. We need to weed it out. They should not have a space to speak. 
when they try to come to other people's places, yeah, always have your own little shit. Hold you on, have your own little shit where nobody. Right can you show your uh -oh. number? So I know that's you. Uh oh, David got somebody coming in. I can't go another guest in the back. Lena, yeah, sure. I see it. Uh, Lena, I'll bring you up in a minute, babe. Oh, yeah, I definitely gonna need Lena because I need. Oh, yeah, we definitely her. gonna need that. I need, need her to revamp her own situation because exactly. I have, yes, I it's, it's, look, it's it. gonna be like a Dr. Phil time. Yeah, I like it. Let me stop. Uh, but also, just to throw it out there because we want to get balance, right? We want to get balance. As we're going to talk about a certain person today, and like I said, because I because I know this person as well, and I know uh, from where we all started two years ago, and there was just some when talking to you back then and now talking to you now, and I just, I don't know, it just seemed a little fishy, but same thing with the ladies. Like I and like I said, I, I look, I ain't knocking you do what you do, <laughs> but I'll ring your bell. I won't knock you, but I'll ring your bell. And there's some females out here in this space that are talking, but y'all don't talk for me. And I don't, and, and and I'm gonna just be frank. I don't like I don't like girls that that look like they ain't never been picked, trying to tell and talk about women and saying this and that. You don't look like you ever been picked in your life, sugar. How you gonna talk about what women supposed to be doing and, and all this other stuff? Did, did have you had a man before? <laughs> have you had a man before? Let me let me let me figure that out. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna you know, I ain't gonna get down to the of that part too much tonight, but I'm gonna touch on it. But uh, I wanted to throw that out there, too. Like, there's some women in the space that, that are talking about some things. And I'm just like, girl, who are you? Why are you speaking? How are you over here trying to talk about women and what women need to do and all this other stuff? Is any of that working out for you? Because I would think if you're talking all this mess that, you know, it should work out. You should have something to show for. If you agreeing and pointing out all the bad of females, but you ain't got no man. Mm -hmm. How that work? How that work? I, I don't get that. You you ain't got nothing. You ain't got nothing. You ain't got no kids. Mm -hmm. it, kids will be, be a, like, even I could say that you've been picked before because you got some kids, but some of y'all ain't even got that. Y'all just, you, and then didn't want to talk about females like me, like we're pandering. How am I pandering? How am I pandering when I grew up in a household with both mother and father? Both mm -hmm. mother and father. Mm -hmm. So I would think naturally that I'll have like almost like a balance because I have both of my parents in the home. Mm -hmm. And then some of y'all, y'all talking, I don't even know if y'all had parents. Again, who are you? Why are you speaking? But there is some women out there that is really talking. And 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 I like what they're talking about and, and holding other women accountable. Shout out to the real pressures and shout out to Lady Die. And there's some women out there holding people accountable. And and women that you can verify that's been picked. <laughs> But anyway, let me see. Look, look, look. Let me see. Let me see. Go ahead. I mean, hold on. Let me highlight. Cause I agree. There's a there's a lot of this in the space and in the circle, which are. And I don't even want to say that. I I like that. My brother lost the translation. Said bad apples. Yeah, I, and, and 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 it is. But I like apples, so I'll be feeling some type of way if there's some bad ones. Green ones. His is red, so we'll take that. Uh, yeah, bad apples. The green ones are the best. They sour. I like sour. And then <laughs> embracing the gray. She said, "Where they do that at?" And a lot of space. Faces. They just and I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. Not 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 one bit. Not one bit. But uh, 
Yeah, I got uh, and yeah. I, I, for all the people that are wondering why I might have said like, because I, I did come up here to. Uh, I think our women need defenders, no matter what, but only when they're in the right. Only when they're in the right. Otherwise, I, I, ain't, I ain't here for you. I'm going to turn my back on you and walk away. But when they are in the right, I believe our women need to be defended. And the video that I have in the back is going to show why I'm defending my girl, Miss Embrace of Grace. Uh, right. Oh, get this. Uh, I told you, I'm sorry. Look, I just saw the lightning flash real quick. Oh, you got a storm out there. Man, it's been doing it since like it was early this morning. It was, but then um, then it started back up towards like five. So yeah, BM, you did say it was a storm, but who was on that bike? I'm like, what bike are you? on not holding you up. <laughs> Look, hey, uh, David, can you like? Cause my thing is going so. Can you take Grace comment off? And uh, you said you ready to show what you got. Yeah, you just click play on it. Okay, I'm gonna do that right now. No, I have I this type think. of mindset because it always ends the same way. It's too. These are the type of chicks that won't give you their real number. They give you a Google Voice number and all of this kind of crazy. Like, not I'm giving you my real phone number. Yeah, not all of them. <laughs> will, but oh my I, didn't, I'm not, I wish I hate when y'all do that. Not all. Nobody is. Nothing is not is a hundred percent. Nobody is saying that. And maybe but the type of chicks that have exit strategies and they always in their mind the worst case scenario, this is what they do. Yeah, they do this commonly. Well, then I'm sorry. My daddy taught me, my daddy taught me to make sure I look at all the exit door, the entrance doors, look at where the escape route. You know, maybe it's an Italian here's thing. The problem I don't know with all your punk ass daddies. How has that worked out for you? Excuse me, please don't disrespect hey, my father. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. my father's not I'm no punk saying, ass. And I, and I'm gonna say this all the time. All, the, all of these old men with punk asses and told their daughters and sons a lot of foolishness. You're you're disrespectful, bro. I'm done. Uh, I could care less. I mean, it is what it is. They lie. I know you don't we care less. You have no respect. The oldest bro. old generation lied to y'all, and they effed y'all up, and you want us to take responsibility hey, yeah. for right, the right. things we, that the old people need to do. You're tripping, bro. Tripping. That's what's disrespectful. That. You're tripping. That's what's you disrespectful. You are tripping, dude. Yeah, you like yeah, I'm, not, I say, I'm saying the same shit I've been saying for two I'm years. Trip, you, bro. You're taking it too I'm not far, tripping. Man. It's the truth. You're it's the truth. People far. don't like to hear the truth. It's not the truth. But it is it's an opinion, truth. dude. It's your yeah, opinion. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, why she ain't got you're, no man? Why you're she ain't got 48 years old uh, okay. talking to a young man? That's fine. That's what a daddy told me. That, People have cool. different experiences, bro. Yeah. You are tripping yeah. right okay. now. Can I, can I say no, that? we got 80% of our women who will never get married in their lives. Yo, 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 and I made it clear I'm not gonna let him what he say get to my get on me or get on my nerve because there's a level of decor when you have to address people on your panel, you have to respect their view and respect their experience. Now, anyone who know who or how I am, no matter what panel I go on, I make sure I have respect for anybody and everybody. That is something I learned from my culture. We don't go around disrespect people, we don't go around look down on people, we don't go around trying to call people because what he did right then and there, I almost try not to like <laughs> do a, how you want to call it, a digital get over here with his ass because <laughs> get even, over. Though, even though he's an older gentleman, you don't go around to disrespect people, deceive parents. I don't do that at all. That's not my place. You don't know that person's life experience. You don't know what was going on in the environment. The fact that social media has gave a room to a bunch of illiterate idiots to come on the panel. It won't have to be you two. I might start from the oldest one, from colorclub.com to MySpace to Black Planet to Megate Planet, all the way down to Facebook. Now we have YouTube. We got 
Snapchat, we got TikTok, we got Rumble, we got Twitch, all these platforms. And the fact that they're selling way worse than a snake salesman who can knock on your door day by day, trying to offer you some crazy ass products that you're not even sure ain't gonna work in your household. And they do these things. That's the big deal. But for what that man did, Israel, he needs to get checked one way or the other because that right there is the blatant no. And I'm sure he will call himself a man. I'm sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching this and you're hearing this, there's a scale that we have. I will repeat it as many times as I can. When it comes to the male species, we have men, we have adult male, we got boys, and we got niggas. <laughs> I'm from Brooklyn. I'm not bullshitting nobody. That's from the male side of things. Mm-hmm. On the women's side of things, it falls the same way. We have women, we have ladies, mm-hmm. we have adult females, we got girls, and we got three or four. They fall in love with that on a female child. But the males, I'm sorry, Israel fall into the adult male species, <laughs> almost entering the boy species. You can't call a man because men walk with integrity. Mm. Tell them, bro. They're the fundamental you have to carry as a man. Just because you're old, you got two balls, like maybe I lose one due to cancer, I don't know if that could be the case. Doesn't make you a man. The way you carry it, the way you conduct yourself in or outside as an adult said a lot about you and your character. You don't go around attacking people's parents. I don't know, embrace the great background. I will not go and disrespect her her parents, or where she came for our ask questions to get clarity and understanding. And based on that clarity and understanding, I will make my, my, my review what I think it is or what I'm getting from the information she gave me and ask her if it's correct or not. So she can correct me if I missed some information. But what I'm not going to do is disrespect anyone's parent. That is not my place. If I go disrespect anybody, you have been from my domain and you must be from my blood. I mean, you have internal beef, and I will call you out for what it is. But I'm not going to go around calling out people. I may not like how Anton do things, but I'm not going to disrespect his parents. You're out of your freaking mind. Anton is doing things that most people cannot do. So why would I hate on him for that? But I'm not going to go behind his back and disrespect his parent or disrespect BMU parent on anybody else's parent. That is not my thing. Because I don't know their parent like that. But when he come out of his mouth and say those sort of things, it showed to me he's not a man. He's an adult male falling in between the category of adult male and boy, even though he's an older individual. Now, look, I agree with you, man. I agree with you 100% because the way I think about it, if I had a daughter, and let's say you got a sister, let's say you got a mom or something like that, us as men, the way we operate is we always think about the worst possible situation that can happen. And that comes down, that comes to our planning, our planning ahead for the situations that we're going to put ourselves in. Like we're going on vacation. Okay. We might do research on what areas not to visit, which is basically an extra strategy ahead of time. We're planning to avoid problems and to sit there and call somebody's father, deceased father, that a punk ass man, because her daughter, his daughter is planning for the right and wrong thing to do. It says something about you as a person. It says something about you. So women are not allowed to protect themselves when it comes to situations, but it's perfectly fine for us. And I don't believe there are a lot of double standards that benefit men, and that ain't one of them. That ain't one of them in my in my honest opinion, but Miss Lena had uh she had some I'm gonna let I'm gonna let I get out of Miss Host. Yes, Lena. Oh hey, Miss Alexis. I love you, fro. Your fro is throwing. <laughs> it's so beautiful. It's so cute. And, and I appreciate you for coming through and uh being able to share. Look, I'm saying let me get my um 
in my Dr. Phil mode. Thank you for coming through to share your story. We appreciate mm -hmm. you. We appreciate you. It's probably been traumatizing. And we don't want you to feel that when you come here. This is a safe space. Lena, just, 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 just tell your story and feel confident in telling your story. Okay. okay, that was great, wasn't it? That was great. Okay. Yes. I don't want to feel treasonous. I don't have a real like I don't I don't want to uh you know hurt Izzy or anything. However, um Israel, my my thing is like he's not completely what I would say telling I don't want to say lying or telling the truth, but he's disingenuous when he was saying, Oh yeah, I talked to you a dozen times in January. If I ghost you, had you talked to me dozens of times? I literally talked to him twice and he's telling people that he talked to me a dozen times in January. That is not true. I literally only talked to him twice. I have the receipts. And then when you look up, he's like, well, maybe you delete it. If you look it up, you know, I talked to him through Facebook Messenger. You cannot delete, you know, calls and stuff. Um, once they're missed or whatever, you cannot delete them. Say like, oh, you, you know, miss call. you cannot delete them if you look it up. However, he was saying um, that um, I was coming to see him in May and blah, blah, blah. Only because he said, um, he's, uh, you know, um, he was saying, I asked him, is everything okay? Because he sounded a little sad. And I was like, is everything okay? And then he said, um, no. I was like, well, what's wrong? He was like, I won't tell you unless I see you face to face. And I'm thinking some health issues. So I'm like, are you dying? Like, what's going on? And he was like, I'm not going to tell you uh that's uh, so face to face. Like, well, I'll see you in May. Okay, just tell me. And I'm thinking he gonna tell me, and he did. So he put that on the live, and I felt like everything that we um, talked about or whatever, I felt like it's weaponized. And I understand, you know, he's low key angry at me, or he keeps saying he's not. I wish he would stop like putting this stuff out on YouTube. Like, I felt like, okay, if you're gonna attack me, attack me. But attack me about other stuff. I'd rather him just like say, hey, she no good, she a hoe, she this. I'd rather you go that route. Then put in stuff that's not completely true and then saying this because it's weaponized and it makes it look like I'm low-key trying to talk to him still and that's not true. I hate that. And it becomes weaponized and so now my boyfriend looking at me like, um, you still talking? I'm just like, No. So I, I didn't appreciate any of that. And um, I'm not hateful. I just concerned. That's a good way to say it. Mm. I'm more she concerned. She work at a retirement home, y'all. She does. She is very concerned. Let me add to what you just said right now. Because what you said right now is something that I know that you, I'm sure, Jerry, you've seen the same thing too. Especially on the black YouTube show, you got too many people pretending to be something that they're not really not in real life. Yes. Or they're taking an image that is above their pay grade, which is beyond stupid. Now, for a guy like me who had too much real life experience, but not when I lived in the U.S. right now, but I also used to live in Nigeria for seven years. And we have some dumbass content creators who want to be disrespectful and want to take shit out certain people. But you don't go around attacking people who want to threaten people as if they use some big bad wolf. Because what I do know is this. Y'all may not know this, but YouTube is recording, with observing all the dramas that take place on their platform. And they're monitoring people who may hurt their bottom line, one way or the other. And when you do these things on these people's platform, mind you, this is not your own platform. You didn't put money into this. Mm -hmm. You did not build this. This is not black owned. Let's keep it real. There is a black owned platform. I also bought some share in that, about 127 shares. I'm planning to buy more at time progress before it closed out next year. 
Mm -hmm. Shout out to fanbase.app. That's a black owned platform owned by Isaac Hayes the third. Mm. You don't be on people platform, do all kinds of things, thinking that they're not gonna monitor everything you do. You're terrorizing people, you're terrorizing women like you some jiggle or some or like you have some kind of authority of course state like come on. Have you not learned from these hip hop celebrity when they do that nonsense and lead to huge repercussions that is out of place right now? And you got people over here who act like they're big, bad, and bold, thinking that nothing's gonna happen. No, you cannot say nothing's gonna happen. You forget this is on the internet. Mm, I wonder, people... Alexis, can you can you drop the uh, link for Uncanny or no? Okay, um, David, can you drop the link? Um, I'll drop the link in the chat room. And oh, uh, who is and who is Uncanny? My yes, boyfriend. Oh, 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 she brought okay. she brought her boot there. Hey, look. Hey, hold up, real quick. Shout out to grooming and reviews. Another brother from another it. mother and father. <laughs> and uh, my Alexis. Thing. Oh, go ahead, my bad. But here's my thing. What what I do have a problem with right now is this. Besides BMU, there's other people who have their own channel. A lot of these same kind of individuals come on their platform mm -hmm. and act like complete buffoon. Which by all means don't make no goddamn sense. I had people try to roast me before. And I could really care less. Welcome uncanny. How you doing? What up? He I'm in the background. I ain't trying to show my face right now because I don't want to see my angry face. Everybody say, okay, now I just want to call him Bear Paul. No, Were they you. Ashy today or something? <laughs> hey, so, baby. My, my old boy, Reckless Ray, gave me another nickname. He called me Bear Paul. I'm like, oh. Hey. <laughs> hey, you know, even though the lost yesterday, I'm still represent for this. I'm into this city a lot. You know what I'm saying? I'm into this you city a lot. Yes. Well, don't y'all be up here doing that little flirting stuff back and forth? Hold on, Uncanny. If you're show off your team next time, come on Wednesday sports show. Show up for your team so all your other sport guys can no, be the right way about that thing. Oh, you didn't know I'm from Cleveland. That's supposed to be where I'm really from. But I know if, I've been to Cleveland. Good. If, I've been to Cleveland. If Defno really it. wants to know where I'm from, Scott Project. Oh. That, no, I'm saying, no, that's no. that's that's no, that's not a that's not where I'm from, but that's just something for him to know because he if he's from the same city that I'm from, then he would know Scott Project. But they say oh. I'm from Cleveland, and I'm supposed to be a white man named Franklin. That's they over here. Oh. Oh, I've hey, been to Cleveland at the oh, no, oh, oh, no, because Jeff, no, no, please, I, I, he'll I'm really kidding. put it out. Uncanny, I want you to hold that thought because David. I want you to play this video right here because I think this is why we had. Fuck oh, you, me. Bring Uncanny up here with us. I'm so oh, excited. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Welcome to the People's Podcast. What you got? What's up? What's going on? Good, good, good. How you? I'm good, man. Um, I just got a question. Yeah. Speak up a little bit. You sound a little low. Uh, can you hear me now? Yeah, I hear you. Just a little low. It's it's a, a little muffling in the back. That's why. I don't know what that is. It's like a noise. All right. What's your question? Oh, you know, I just I feel like I feel like um how I say this. I feel like. I feel like if you date somebody and the person said they got a man, why would you still push up on that person? Is what I'm asking. Wait a minute. Did you say if you dating a person and they say they got a man? Is that what you said? Yeah, like let's say you was dating, like if I was trying to talk to you, Red, right? And you tell me you have a man, but I'm like, I don't care if you got a man and I'm still pushing up on the person. Do you feel that that's right or wrong? Well, so, uh, since he asked you, I'm gonna let you answer that question, and I, I got responsible too. No, I should <laughs> <say that> question. <laughs> huh? 
I said, what's your response, sir? I mean, I mean, it's, it's situational. So, but just going off the general question, like if I'm if I run up on a girl, I don't know. I'm just meeting this girl, and she tells me, "Hey, I got a man." Right? Yeah. I'm no longer. I, you know, I, I'll back off. You back that, off in that situation. <laughs> you know, I, I'm trying to respect the relationship. Like, oh yeah, man, go ahead and do your thing. You know. What so I'm why saying? do you respect my relationship then? I don't even know. No, I was about to give you more scenario, but I mean, no, you didn't respect my relationship. Wait a minute. What do you mean he didn't respect your relationship? Yeah, like, tell me who you are. I mean, Lena told you today that you, she had oh, a man. And you still didn't respect that for relationship. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You didn't respect the relationship at all. Oh, you're so Lena's I'm, I'm, man. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to figure it out because, right. like, why are you still pushing up on somebody that clearly, no, let me, let me clearly? No, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Since oh, December, hold on, since, since December, hold on, hold on. since it's December. No, nah, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Since December, we can have a since this, oh, red, red, we can just have a since December, since December, since December, since December, Lena hasn't talked to the man, right? So until now, it's about to be April. Why is the man still calling at Lena? And trying to get her to you understand what I'm doing. The hint. Why can't you take the hint, my guy? Why can't you take the hint? That's that's my question. So okay. how you because he wants to be in this, this bitch ass thing and shit. Then I was I really didn't want to go there, but you know, we're gonna get it to him really. I'm glad you don't want here, Red, so you could validate what I'm saying. Give it to him. <laughs> okay. That's what I'm talking that's, about. That's the prime example of what we preach not actually practicing it. Because, and, sh and Uncanny, shout out to you for actually going up there and voicing your concern because that's your girl. That's your girl. And you saw those same text messages where Lena clearly relayed this message. I have a man. Mm -hmm. And we just heard this same man. Suppose it. Because, you know, we can put it in the boy category, like a, a grown-ass boy. This person sat there and said, if I approached a woman, he did say if I didn't know her. But it makes it even worse if you do know him. Just so everybody knows. It makes it worse if you know well, a person. My bad, Jay. But once he, once he had said that, I was like, this motherfucker lying. So I had like went over him because I knew he was never going to answer the question fully. Mm -hmm. No, you 100 you 100% correct cuz that's the 100%. point I'm trying to make. That that's the point I'm trying to make. This person literally said he wouldn't do it. He lied. But he did do it. And then ever since then, that little 2 minute conversation turned into like 12 hours of straight stream. I promise you. Alexis, oh, oh, I got all that. I got all that video, just so you know. I got all that. But um, he's, just he's like, literally just mad like, at me for 12 streams. Oh, he, I got I got something else for you. He was talking about you today. Mm. Oh, he was talking about of you course. today, just this morning. I, I'm not surprised. Hold on, hold on. He gonna make you famous. I ain't playing with him. <laughs> he's, I'm, trying, he's, I'm trying to tell people. He's he's lit, like right he now. always says, he always says, like they were in there talking about me so much. He's obsessed with me. He's literally obsessed with Lena. He can't get the fact that Lena does not like him. Mm. It's it, like, if I, I'm the person I was gonna admit that I've been friend zone before. It happens to everybody. But you 47 looking 80 and you literally just can't take that. Okay, it's like, what, what's your ethnicity? I'm Hispanic. Yeah, that black man done lost out to a goddamn Hispanic. Fuck. Wait a minute. Can you wait, wait a minute. minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. That shit. <laughs> oh! that's, that's props for you. This I think that's probably one of the biggest problems that he's dealing with right now. He hey, but hold on, but hold on. And, but can we give some respect? Because he went up there. Like, homie pulled up. It was like, what's up? <laughs> what's up? So, uh, I respect any man that does that. Yeah, let's go. 
I mean, the problem is, is that. <laughs> man, get that shit off your chest. Oh, man. my God. The man is obsessed with me, for one. Because he damn sure wanted to kick you off. Get that shit off your chest. He muted me the minute, because he didn't want ev everything to come out, you know. He doesn't want to look like he's a a simp, I guess, or like whatever you want to call uh, a man that just can't take the word no. You know what I'm saying? He's very pushy. Um, there would be times where Lena would, I would call Lena and Lena would look upset because she, he just tried to like get her to be with him or whatever. And she keeps telling him no. He doesn't want that, to, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's a whatever. I'm just up here to piss him off, to be honest. Because <laughs> every 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 waking moment that he that he has, he just talks about me. Every chance. He hates you, hey, Jay, though. He hates you. Hey, too. real quick. Oh, oh, you said he oh, hates oh, you, Jay. <laughs> oh, yeah, he, he hates my guts. Uh, speaking of you saying that, uh, Black, can you play that, that, that right there down up below for me, real quick? Like, um, is it? Coming up to one o'clock, I need y'all to rock with me. It may be still a little early on uh, certain parts of the country too. I hope he don't see all this because he's gonna be mad. I told him. Oh, um, oh yeah, I forgot to tell y'all. Franklin came back, y'all. Franklin Stewart came back. He uh, subscribed to me the other night. You know, he uses that uncanny shit. And hey, hey, I want y'all to understand this. Think about this, y'all. Because this man is a three king in the manosphere space. He actually knows when one person subscribed to him. I'm telling you, y'all. People subscribe to my channel every day and I can't track none of that shit. Mm. He knows. That's crazy. But that means he's also watching. <laughs> he's watching. He wants that number two. Oh, I did, want one more. I, I, did, I did that to fuck with him. I don't have yeah, a panel. Yeah. No, nah, you good. You good. Man. I know. You I'm good. serious. Look. I don't have a panel. No, nah, I know you. I look, look, you good. Like, I, I just want you to look. Keep listening to it because it, it gets worse. Because Miss Embrace the Grace, I told you this why I called you earlier today. Because I don't like what he said about you. He he talked about you on Kenny to start it off, but it got more disrespectful. And this type of stuff, us as black men that or us as melanated men that actually speak in these spaces, we need to nip this shit in the butt. We need to stop allowing this shit to keep going. We got to. But I, one more time, I'm going to just let this finish real quick. And he has, obviously, this guy's a troll because he got, like, a bunch of a bunch of uh, screen names. So here's another uncanny 4 o'clock in the morning randomly following me. And then I go look at that, that person's channel and... Uh, they play video games, so they got a couple of... So I, I know it's this guy, man. It's like, why are y'all still following me and worried about what I say on my channel? <laughs> if y'all are happy, live y'all life, leave me the hell alone. Why are you coming over here to see what I'm doing and saying, for what? What is the point? Then at the same time, you're going to tell your girl not to talk to me or worry about what I'm doing. You you being a hypocrite, dude. The thing you telling her not to do, you're doing. <laughs> this is, per <laughs> I'm sorry to say this. This person is calling somebody a hypocrite while being a hypocrite. But I saw that uh, y'all had somebody else. I can't see. I can't see your name down there. I, I, I know. I know. I know. I know you, but I can't see your name, so I can't say it, man. What you doing? What's up, man? Down low. That I can't, is I can't. Simon Hectic. Simon, there we go. Simon, I can't. I can't see your name, man. I can't see your name at all. What's up, Simon? Yeah, what's going on, bro? Simon look like he on demon time. <laughs> Tommy, you look like you're demon time tonight. You joke too much, man. You joke too much. That's the problem with you, man. <laughs> I told you Simon was on demon time. Me and Simon got to beef back and forth, but Simon, I actually ain't. You ain't the target tonight, all right? You ain't the target. I don't but give a fuck uh, about what you got to say. I don't give a fuck about you. Why do you think I give a fuck about you? Don't do that. I'm serious. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Let's, uh, Play around uh, all day long. Play. Here you go. 
Let's uh finish this last yeah, little okay. part of the video and then Simon Simon, you can bring me all your nonsense you want. I'm I'm here for it because I would really have a conversation with you because I'm I'm gonna be amazing. You gonna have a conversation with me, bro. All right, here we're gonna finish the video real quick and then you can get it off your chest. All right. He hates <laughs> me. This right, nigga so. called me seven fucking times yesterday. Why? Why? I don't fuck with you. I'm on a damn panel and this bitch embrace the grace sent his sicko on me to try to fuck up the panel, which he did. That's the part that I, I, I'm really pissed off about, but uh, I'm going to let him say it one more time. I'm on a damn panel and this bitch embrace the grace sent his sicko on me to try to fuck up the panel, which he did. With his disingenuous troll and bitch ass. Now you want to come over here? Nigga ain't never came on my stream ever. I, I, I want to get that last part out just for Simon, because I know Simon would probably double down on that disingenuous trolling shit, so I wanted to make sure that's played, but him calling my girl Miss Embrace of Grace a bitch because he got embarrassed on a live stream in front of other grown men, and they actually saw that he was full of shit, I think that's a little disingenuous. <laughs> just throwing it out there, but I know Simon wanted to say something. Lex, it's your show, so I'm going to be quiet. And Simon got something, I know. Okay, hold on. I'm you said my name about 42 oh, times. Uh, sorry, <laughs> my name is Alexis from Texas, and this is my show. So, uh, hopefully, we can be respectful. But go why, ahead. Do you think, why do you think I'm gonna be disrespectful? Uh, because of the pretense that was made. From my homie that just spoke. So oh, uh, this is the thing that goes down um literally in the world, okay? You don't know me from Jack, but yeah, go you're gonna listen to this dude. Cause I know him. <laughs> I do know him. <laughs> well, maybe you should do your research, okay? As a as a black woman, I'm telling you that. Maybe okay. you should do your research, okay? Before okay. someone like, because anyone could tell you anything, and this is the problem we have in this fucking, like, situation. Mm. Like, everyone... I ain't egregious. I ain't one of these cap niggas. Like, me and JVJ, there's been some business situations, and there's been some, like, panel situations, which I'll totally refer to it as panel situations. But he know what, what the hell me and him are about. And this ain't gonna be like a, a one time thing. You know what it's about, bro. What are we about? Please say really? it. Please say it. Please say Look, it. Look, I don't I don't play Just that. Say it. Just say it. Just say it. I don't play that. Okay. No, I'm being dead and serious because I, I look right handed guy. I don't know what you're talking about. All right, about, so, so you yeah. all right. So do you know Wally? Yeah, Wally. I know Wally. You know Marcus. Yeah. Why did you bring them over to your channel? When they were literally on my channel for about a year. Oh my God. That's why you never liked me. Dude, Simon, I didn't know you, man. I didn't know I would, if I took some of your people away from your channel, <clears throat> right hand to God, look, y'all, right hand to God, strike me down right now because Alexis is storming outside my house too. Right hand to God. Simon, I didn't, the first time I met you was on Grace's panel. No, that wasn't had... the first time he met me. When, and this is the stupid the thing about you? people. No, this is the stupid thing about people. You don't want to do your research. When was the first time I met you? As far as you're concerned, that was the first time you met me, right? That I can remember, yeah. Now you're in between something that you don't even understand because you seem to talk like you, you don't know shit. And what's actually going to happen Every time we come on a platform, I'm gonna break you down, bro. Okay, I don't even down. I don't even need to do shit. Break me down. What has happened every time you come on every other platform since that situation? So you, you come on split you come every other fucking platform. What you situation? don't understand. Nigga, you said you went to war, bro. What situation are you talking about? Are you an army vet or, or are you are you fronting? I was in the Marines, not Army vet. But uh, what right. situation? Oh, right, so you're not about? an Army vet. 
I ain't playing with people. Said, don't I've joke with me. Don't giggle game, with dude. me. I don't oh, play like that. Hold on. So, calm down. I don't on, play on. like that, bro. Hold on. Hold on. I'm serious. This is BMU engineer Black David. Now, you I mentioned two. In... Nigga, else, else is going on. I'm speaking to TVJ right now. TV, I, I hear you right now, but I am the engineer. I don't give a fuck stuff. who you are, nigga. Get the fuck off. I'm speaking hey, to David, this David, nigga. David, 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 uh, don't kick him. Please don't kick him yet, David. Please don't. Are you are speaking? Are yelling? Kick me if you want. Kick me uh, if you want. You're not going to get the end of the story. Uh, just, just mute him. You're not going to get the end of the story. Just mute him real quick. Are like, you speaking or yelling? Uh, yeah. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Because this is my show. And that's why I can't. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. David, you know I got nothing but love for you, bro. No, no disrespect, but this is my show, and he up here was talking shit, talking about do your research and all this other stuff. Um, <laughs> I've known JBJ for two years. As far as uh, we've had our ups and downs as nigga. well, and He's okay, nigga. yeah, but but this is my show, Simon. Just like I told you when you got up here, and this is my show. I ain't with all that. So if you want to leave or you got that much of a problem where you can't be or understand that this is mine right now, then you can leave. We ain't we ain't about that. Look, <laughs> I'm not. Nah, I ain't buying that right now. Not at all. Calm down. If you feel like you got something, you got something with him. Me and him is doing the show right now. Me and him. So if you want to do whatever, you can take that to the next side or his next show. I'm not doing that right now. I don't care what problem you got with him. He on my show tonight. David, and, go ahead. And Simon, this is not your first time here, and I spoke to you about when we come on this Black Men on Vital platform. And I'm being in charge to run the show. I'm not trying to disrespect you. But the two name individuals that you mentioned, Marcus, just one of them, am I correct? And the other one is Wally. I've seen those two individuals on multiple platforms, including Jay Kakachi. Now, it did issue the fact that they left your platform and go to JBJ platform. That means you will also have issue with Jay Kakachi as well. Okay, all right, all right. Yo, 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 Black David, right? Good point. I'm just asking. I'm not here to. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. No. Good point. What What does JVJ has to say about this? How come he can be this this dude that allows this to happen? Go on, go on, go on, JVJ. I'm being egregious, okay? And I appreciate you, okay. sister. Thank you. I never understood y'all. And I'm. Why did you? Why? Why was you? Why did you do that? Simon, I'm about to give it to you. I'm I'm literally about to give it to you because I ain't mm -hmm. gonna run away from that one because I don't have any I don't have mm -hmm. any on this one. Mm -hmm. I I'm waiting. Again, <laughs> I, I once again me JVJ. You I don't I, right now is the first time I'm finding out you even got a channel or a network. Or you something are like that. lying right now. I'm dead serious, man. I don't know. You are lying. What hang on, what's the name of your channel? Okay, so um, where did Marcus come from? Where did I mean, where Mark, did Wally Marcus, come from? I, where did so where know. did Wally come from? And where did Marcus come from? Where did you where Both did you find them? them? Where did you find them? David, they came to my channel. You I mean, are Simon, lying, my... nigga. Oh my wow. <laughs> what did you okay? So i uh, look detract the fact that I even had a channel. How did you meet Marcus or um they Wally? How did how did you meet channel. them? How they did you meet to... them? They came to my channel. In That's not an answer. How did you meet them? That's not an answer. How did you meet them? Did you have a phone call? They Was it came on Instagram? To my Was it and joined my panel and I talked to them? That's how now I you're, you're you're sounding stupid, nigga. Like for real. <laughs> I know I know these I'm niggas confused. in the back chat. I look. I got their phone numbers. I call them. I speak to them. So if you want to be real stupid right now, we can we can take this to another level. No, no, because... I'm, I'm I'm highly confused. What do you mean by when I met? Because the first time that I had any contact with Wally or Marcus, they came to my channel, became subscribers, and jumped up on my panel. 
that's how I originally met them. Do I have their Instagram? Yeah, because we've had conversations. They were both going to do a show on my network. That's how I originally met them. What are you talking about? Okay. No, no, no. What are you talking about? Because you sounding, you sound like you're crashing out right now. I didn't steal anybody from you. Simon, the first time I, I met you, from my own recollection, was on Embrace the Grace show that she was doing on my network at the time. I didn't steal nobody from you, man. See, if you mad at me because you think some of your friends left your shit and came to my shit, that ain't got nothing to do with me. That ain't got nothing to do with me. Because mm -hmm. they ain't never say shit to me All right, about cool. Uh, well, yo, bro, uh, if that's how you feel, that's cool. It's not well, I'm, no, 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 That's cool. That's cool. I'm. Uh, what is it? I'm. What I'm gonna do right now, um, is oh I'm gonna God. pull up. I'm gonna pull up the videos that are not on my live. I'm, Go I'm gonna play that shit, and you'll Go see ahead. Wally. You'll see Wally all day long, and you'll see Marcus all day long. And then what you're gonna see the try shut the fuck up, nigga. Wait, 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 Alexis, he good, he good, he good, he good, he good. Man, he good. but hold on, but with that shut the F up stuff, like come on, Simon. Nah, come on, answer the question. What what does those videos prove? You got videos of them. Whoa, whoa. Well, you know, the world will see what it is, like that that this nigga is talking some trash. And he's trying to be slick. And I understand yeah, that you've been, you've been in your feelings and all that shit. And you, you literally stole my panelists and dragged them over to your platform for some oh, no. strange reason. Wait, 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 wait. Like, like I said, look, we, <laughs> I, I'm the driver in this thing right now. Um, I'm the captain. <laughs> yeah, right. No 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 no, 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 because I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna keep it a stack. One thing about uh, about me, like, and you, like, I'm in YouTube, but I'm outside for real. People know me, and what I speak on right now, people don't call me bees and all of the a, a lot of things, but they ain't call mm -hmm. me fake and they don't call me a liar. And I'm gonna tell you right now, when I said that I know JVJ, I met a lot of them from just in the comments in the section including wally including marcus they they're in the comments in the sections on black man unfiltered sometime nah 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 and let me ask you something he he supposedly stole wally and he stole marcus that's what you said simon yep. he stole him yeah he stole him okay yep. what does what does uh wally do how much money was wally making you why are you up here uh confronting him about panelists as this baby was making you money no one's talking about money. Then, then what? What's the beef? As a man, you you up here confront him of uh, stealing other men, of other men. That that what profit did they give you to where you feel like you needed to come up here and confront him about stealing somebody? He ain't steal nobody. Them men. I talked to Marcus and before them are grown men who make their own decisions. Yo, JB, JB knew this was coming, man. He hey, knew hey, this hey, was coming. Hey, look who I'm about to call. He, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, on, go, on, go, on. go, God, you knew this was coming, bro. You knew this was coming, bro. Don't even play me. I told you a lot. I, I was being silent for a minute. You knew this was coming, bro. It's just nothing to do with anybody else. You knew this was coming. Stop. Stop with the play, man. You can play all day long. And, and yo, check. I'm not saying this is anything to do with you. you. Don't understand what's going on. This This dude is a weirdo, man. Like, no, he, he, no, 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 no. If I don't understand, we have a responsibility, uh, you know, as black people. Why do you read these corner people right no, now? No, 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 no. <laughs> we have a responsibility to mm. be able to explain ourselves. So if yeah, well, do what's it. The do problem? It, do it. Please tell me. Tell me what's no, the I'm, no, I'm totally transparent. Let him call them. See if we could get in connection with them right now because they ain't answering his phone. He is chatting bullshit. Like, I can literally get on my phone, call the same niggas, and they'll respond to me in a second. Like, bars. Like, it ain't no problem. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, David. Like, I'm sorry. David. Um, mute everybody. Put Alexis on the screen. <laughs> Please. Let's go, bro. Put, put, put Alexis on the screen. We're doing...
na. I don't, I don't understand. I'm going to tell you like that. I don't understand like, like getting up here and fussing over men. It sound kind of gay to me. It sound kind of gay to me fussing over men that made their own decisions to come up and be on a person's panel and to do shows on a person's network. Them your mans, your mans chose to get on here and do whatever that they wanted to do with Jay. Nah, we ain't playing them type of games. Why? What? Look, and only respect I'm letting you ride because Jay said to let you ride. But then again, like I said, this is my show. That sound kind of gay. That you over here talking about, about uh, I, I call them and they answer. What homies that? Marcus, you hear this man saying that like he got you in check? He gonna make one phone call. All their phones ring. All their, everybody. Hello? Yes, 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 a massa? Yes, a massa? What is you talking about? Are we really having a conversation about other people going to other people's network? I was, I just opened and talked about Jay, how at first I was over there trying to do a show, but because I couldn't figure out what I wanted to do, I left. Now I'm on Black Man Unfiltered doing a show. What are we talking about? What are we talking about? He just said that about Grace. Grace doing shows on his network and BMU's network. What are we talking about? What are we talking about? All right. But what we're going to do, we're going to wrap this up. Either you're going to tell what your issue is, or and then we're getting off the panel. Jay, respectfully, this man needs to tell his issue with you. Example, let's rewind. Uncanny got up there and said what his issue was with, what's his name? Uh, 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 nah, that's my uh, oldest. Nah, not oldest. David Ruffin. And uh, what's the name? Yeah, what you mean? It's real. He got up there and checked the man, told him exactly what we're talking about. We ain't about to play them games. Oh, he's he's this, he's that, and all this not. Get up here and tell this man what your issue is, and then we're gonna move on. Just like I had uh these five reviews, and I went through them quickly because we gotta move on. If you got a problem, say what your problem is, what you said kinda, and I'm telling you that. That's not the issue. It, obviously, everybody in the ch chat saying the same thing. Everybody confused Simon. So other people can't go to other people's channel and panels. Oh, he's stealing people. He's stealing people. This is a grown man on here mad at another grown man. Talk about he stole other grown men. Grown men who ain't getting him no money. Do y'all hear this? Do y'all hear this? Do y'all know what Wally doing? Do y'all know what Wally doing? Shout out to Wally. What Wally doing? How much money Wally making? How much money he making you, Simon? How much money did he make you when he was on your panel? What is we doing? What is we doing? We Like I said, either you going to say what your issue is so we can wrap it up and go to the next because my other brother is in the back and I want to see what he got to say. Say your issue and wrap it up. Tell Mr. J what your exact issue is, and then we're gonna wrap it up. If he can't do that, he off the panel. And Jay, later on, he can get on yours and talk all that uh course manure. We ain't doing that. Nah, I don't know what ooh, I, I, I don't like it. Yeah, when I get in my text today, y'all got me messed up. Let's go. He better, <laughs> he better say what he gotta say. We ain't playing no games. Nah, nope. Let's get it going. What y'all think? I'm all messed up. Heated. Little kids. The heck? Men ain't making you money. You up here talking about men going to another panel. That ain't making you no money. What is he doing here? I'm going to with you because you're crazy. But I'm going to, yo, man, JBJ. Let me fro again. What is we doing here? Um... I can't believe we're here. I'm not buying <laughs> this. But I will review it. No, you, and that's you my review. Yeah, yeah. That's gay. You, Yo, what you were saying <laughs> is talking is about another man and stealing like, other men from him. Like, like you know, gay. like you know, some people. Okay, Say what cool I, said. I don't mind like rocking with Bob. I don't. I don't mind. I don't mind rocking with dudes, man. I could go back and forth with our men. That's different, man. You were chatting some next next level crazy stuff. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Because now, boy, Simon, hold on, Simon. I need to speak on this because I'm listening to everything. 
I hope y'all don't forget, majority of the time I'm working in the background. Your issue with JVJ is concerning having Marcus and Wally leaving your platform going to his platform. And I have met those two individuals multiple times on the BMU platform several times, as well on J Titachi platform multiple times as well. I recall Jerry J would tell you that, yes, they were running a show on his platform and they invited me several times before in the past last year. I was a guest on their platform. Now, the only thing I do understand within the black YouTube street, unless there was a contract being signed and they getting paid to peer on people's platform, that was the thing that certain people we had on our platform who had contract agreement with other platforms. For example, Lapeef. Lapeef Network had a contract with some of our hosts. One of them was Coach K. She had a contract with them. Hank is another one who also show on the platform. You're boring me right now, Smith. A good man. Uh, I don't, don't want to be bad. I'm, I'm you're not, boring not me, boring, man. I'm not boring you, but I'm, you are. I'm painting a picture because what you're saying is not connected. You are accusing JVJ of stealing your panelists. Now, what I'm trying to point out here. Yeah, but you're, is, you've never been my panelist. So, what the hell are you I talking never, about? I've never been your panelist, nor have I signed a contract. Jesus Christ. Here, here what you need to understand because you say no, this I'm a tech guy. That's number one. I I'm giving damn you. what the fuck you are, nigga. <laughs> God if, damn. You don't, if you don't <laughs> care, then you will have confusion. Yeah, but you're not you're not making like a, a relevant not point. Sense? Hold on. Like at the end of the day, explain like it. the explain only people that are gonna no, really on. understand. Hold on. hold on, hold on. Explain it to me. If you're accusing somebody of stealing your powers. Please that means there's a, a, a breach of contract. No, there's a breach of contract. Yes, my face is here. I'm now on my main PC. You just but talk, man. Knowledge. You're just I'm talking. talking. I'm not talking, but I'm talking fact. Anyone you have never been that. on my panel, period. I've never been on your panel, which is understandable. I've been on multiple panels. Yeah, what are you talking it's about? Go like, away. What you, what you, For what real. What you're saying now right go now away. is not logical. Nor it is what are you talking you're, about? You have no idea what you're why are you accusing You have somebody? no idea what that looks like. You've never pulled up and, to a channel and, on a daily basis and had a relationship with somebody, had back-to-back -back conversations and like online and offline conversations. So I don't I don't really get where you're coming from. And right I have done that too. Well, to I not to me. So I don't know what the hell you I know I didn't do it with you. But there was well, who have you done it with? Panel. Who have you done it with? Jay Tati, I've talked maybe. to on the phone. Who have you done it offline with? Offline and online. Who have you done yeah, it with, bro? You're, I you're you're, you know I don't want to be disrespectful. You listening, I know you know we you know each other, Black David. We, you we know we know each other. No, I don't want to be disrespectful to you. I'm just saying, I, like, I how the fuck up, JVJ? Like, look, I mentioned your name to you already. No, no, JVJ is is another anatomy. Like, we know each other. We know that we're real. And I know that. Yeah, okay, so cool. And I mentioned so, the name of panel. I've but been at, the, at the end of the day, the I'm there, there's a whole different thing that goes on. Like me and Wally and me and, um, you know, Marcus literally were day to day into out conversating, like getting this shit together. They literally built my platform up for this fool to turn around with his weirdo fucking mouth. To, like, suddenly go, oh, yeah, I got. XYZ subscribers and like I don't know it's it's just kind of weird how all of a sudden like he persuaded them to go over there like there's some sort of like mission or some shit like that when I don't even do that shit period and I like, get it I, 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 I don't I don't and I, I won't like and I don't I care how many subscribers I got are accountable are Wally and Marcus because Alexa would text will tell you this I was running two people platform at one point. I was running this one majority of the time, BMU platform, and I was helping So Hell Speak run his platform as well. I almost ended up running three different platforms at one point. Yes, I'm the tech guy. I'm the tech savvy guy. People have reached out to me to help them run their platform. I told them I have an agreement. There's no contract agreement with a virtual. That's fact. With a, That's a, total with a, total agreement. But I understand that. And I said, I will help these people out. 
at first. Now, I also told BMU get I need time for myself. With me, you need to get more engineer to Yo, help them out on this ex platform. Explain but to me. You uh, to explain to the people who your cousin is. My cousin? Yeah, online. Who's your, who's your cousin online? You talk about Sugar Mike? Thank you. Yeah, I've been on his platform too. Well, I spoke to the guy offline. And mm -hmm. I know the guy for many years. He's from New York. His family know my family. We're that close. But that's very understandable. So I get what they're coming from. Hey, hey, can like, I, anyone, anyone, I, I'm about to jump in real quick, David. Okay, go ahead. Um, because I told y'all I'm out here and it's storming and all that good stuff. So uh, my thing is kind of slow. And I just uh, was able to run it back on my cellular device, uh, what Mr. Simon was saying and what he called me and all this other stuff. Like I said, this is my show. What did I call, what did I call you, yo? And you you said something about being crazy or whatever because what I was going up, I couldn't hear y'all because my thing was I, so I ain't saying any of that stuff. So what do you say? Simon, you I ain't say nothing like about that. <laughs> Shut that. This guy, you, this gal. Yo, 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 yo. I, I call TV. Said, I yo, you see, you see how this dude is a protagonist? This dude is just weird as hell. Wait, 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 wait. Like, Simon, Simon, I told you that I ran it back. On my phone, I told you that I heard it and it was going on, and I was talking. And I couldn't hear y'all because my stuff was going. I'm telling you, that's what I heard. And okay, cool. well, I, 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 I'd urge you to just take a day out and listen to it properly because okay. what, what's well, happening now? What, 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 what tends to happen? Amen. This is my show. What are you doing? This is my show. And, I'm and to you. that's what I'm doing. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. So because this like is my teeth. show and I'm crazy. a woman and I'm gonna be emotional and say that that's what I heard. So please leave. Uh yeah, please leave. Hey, 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 David, Alexis, can you Alexis, please Alexis, 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 hold on, hold on, don't no. can I please just do something real quick with him? Please bring him back, David. Please bring him back. He better like I'm not playing with him. Like he I know, do I know, it real quick and then he gotta go. He okay, gotta go. Please, please, David. Is he still there, David? Yeah, he down there still. He still down there. David, is there a way that you can put me and him up full screen? Okay. This tattoo. Oh, it's okay. okay cool. I need to tattoo myself. If I did, it would be really good. I ain't gonna lie, that would be really good if I could. Nah, do there's, no, there's no such thing. There's no such thing, nigga. Okay, Simon, real quick. Once again, you don't like me. Tell me if I'm wrong. You I didn't say like that. Me. I I didn't say that. Do you like me? I didn't say any of that shit. Asking, Why do I need to I'm like asking. you? No, Why do I need to like you, nigga? Okay, Why so do I need to like, like you or dislike you? I don't care. I really don't care. I'm trying don't to figure out what to me. I'm trying to figure yeah, out but that's your quick. problem. I ain't my problem. Like, I don't okay. care. Okay, I got you. I got you. We, I, I know what I'm about Have I ever had a problem with you? Look, I, I, I know what I got to do. Have I, well, well let, do you want to do that? No, no, no. You're you're being stupid. Like, have I ever had a problem with you? It seems like you do right now. No, that's not the answer to the question. It's yes or no. Have I yes, ever had a problem yes, with you? Yes, yes. Oh, you feel that I've had a problem with you? I think everybody like feels what? have a problem with me. Yeah, like but, what? Like what exactly? Like, right now. like what? Talking, like right now. What, because I'm not agreeing with what you say? Now, nah, that ain't a problem. I haven't been talking that much. You're the one who came in with accusations of me stealing people from you. You have literally done that. That's facts. I that's don't know that's, you. That's know. historic. I don't know. Look, Simon, I'm sorry. It's historic. Take, Look, it's not now. That was like nine months ago. I don't even want to talk about that anymore. I just pointed out that's that you, you do that up. shit. That was no, you literally done that shit. You literally knew that you were doing that shit because you wouldn't bring them people up on your platform unless you damn well knew what what was going on no, when they were on my platform. That's stupid. I don't look. I I don't feel like you're that unintelligent Simon, oh, that you know couldn't Simon. scope the fact that they I were mean, over on mean, other people. Bring. No. That's why I said bring them up. Stop being stupid. You call them since they're your friends. You said they were my friends. I said they were on my platform. They, what, what the fuck? You should have their number, right? 
Oh, so they're your friends. They're not on my network anymore. <laughs> <laughs> why? Kinda, like, yeah, why? Why, nigga? Well, actually, they actually are. Like, Wally is still. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah, he, he wrote because he's trying to build up his numbers. I get yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he comes. Okay, over okay. Sundays. Maybe we are too similar. No, Maybe I that's the fucking we, point. No, no, no. We're not alike. I don't. Have well, hope. if we're not alike, get the fuck around and do your business, okay? Simon, because I, I ain't fucking interested. Understood. Simon, no, I you're not get getting shit out of this right now. I want to get out of this because you, look, 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 you look, chill out for a <laughs> second. Like, I want you to take a deep breath real quick. Like, cause don't do just... my own shit on my own shit. Don't fuck you with me that? like that. You be saying yes. That? Literally okay, go on my Simon, last live. Simon, I want you to, I want you to calm down for a second then since you said your thing is deep breath. Cause my thing I ain't no man, bitch, don't nigga. Money. Don't talk to okay. me like that. I'm not talking to you like you're a bitch. No, you what you're doing already. is you're trying to tell me what to do. I'm trying if to you tell you want to you won't let me tell you. <laughs> you won't let me tell them. <laughs> First of all, Alexa, sorry. you have your show back, darling. First of all, we don't negotiate with terrorists over here at the Black <laughs> <laughs> Network. We do not. We do we not. Don't do that. We don't do that. I was trying. First of, all, was, you did. first of all, we don't call each other names. We don't call each other out of our names. I've had enough. Okay. Alexa, I'm going to give you a show back to you. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That shit crazy. Then crazy again, roll, is it? What's going was, on? Look, I was trying to get an understand. I didn't, I never understood why he didn't like me. But now that I know, I really don't like him. <laughs> a, look, 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 and we're both gonna be not liking people together. Not like just, best friends forever. <laughs> I'm just tripping because I'm like, you said I stole some people from your channel. I don't know you. <laughs> I don't know. And I'm Who not saying that are you? you? Like, I don't know this man. I met, like, literally the first time that I can recall, and this could be wrong, but that I can recall was Embrace doing the show on the network, and I saw him on there, and I came in there, and I cussed his ass out, because I think he a simp. But his issue ain't with me calling him out for being a simp. His issue with me is that I stole Marcus and Wally from him. Like, how, he's, like you said it best, Alexis. How do you steal two grown ass men? <laughs> look, look. I just don't know how I did that. Like, if he wanted to say something about my numbers. Yes, we're trying to get to twenty k. <laughs> we're trying to get there. I don't know if they thought that they would have a better opportunity to build up their own personal channels by coming over there because they would be able to network with other people that are subscribed to my shit. I don't know what it could be because they came to my network. My network is nowhere near what my personal channel is. Dude, I got like five channels. You over here mad about that shit. I didn't do that to you. You should take that to them. To them? Why you ain't checking them? Or or maybe he did. You know what I'm saying? He said he made one call. Did. All the phones rang. He was like, I call him right. Yo, like... That's gay. He was flexing that he when he called two men, they were gonna answer. I think he was talking shit about me because I, I was trying to call Wally. I was trying to call no, him. but even then, Jay, that still makes it worse that he I'm flexing another man. How other man gonna answer when he called? I just come I just on. Don't understand that? <laughs> I I don't even know what Simon's channel is, but look, look, look. On on my channel right now because we we're dual dual streaming. Mm -hmm. I, I I titled it "Where Are the Fakes At?" and <laughs> I think I just got one. <laughs> I, think got one <laughs> I mean, I just, I just don't understand that. But I'm glad I know why he don't like me. That's good to know. At least I know. I'd rather like this is like a black person dealing with a white person, and this white person is racist. I look. I ain't got no problem working with a racist person. I live yeah. in Alabama. We do it all day. I okay. just rather know that you are uh -huh. so I can move accordingly. And he just let me know, like, like, dude, you don't like me because you think I stole your friends. And then oh, I'm right. sorry. He said they're not friends. They were <laughs> not friends, but I stole their business associates. Yeah, I stole these people from him. 
I'm sorry that they are more entertained with having conversations over here than they are over there with you. I'm I sorry. Guess. I guess. But that's I'm why sorry. you hear me. What, what, what are they making money for you? Like, <laughs> like what, what, what was maybe going on? Look, look, Alexis, maybe I should have, maybe he should have made them, you know, like, you know how I do for everybody that comes to the network. They get their own logo up top. They get their cash app explained yep. at the bottom. Maybe I should have did that. Maybe he should have did that for them. Maybe should have gave them their own custom intro, and maybe they had stayed over there. I don't know that dude, man. I, I, I'm, I'm being dead ass serious. I don't know him. I didn't know of him. The first time I even met this dude was on Grace's shit, and Grace could even vouch for this because I said something after the live stream where I came in and I cussed his ass out. I said, Grace, you need to get these these little sip ass boys off your shit. But even then, like again, let's you know what I'm saying. Let's circle back. What we were talking about earlier, mm -hmm. I was there a long time ago. Jay, yep. I was there when you gave uh, Wally and them the show. I, I was there. I a live met, stream if they wanted one. Look, but even then, I met them in the in the chat. I they just started coming in the chat, Marcus too, and and like I don't so. I don't know where he got this from as if he was trying to steal because I saw them pop up in the chat and all that before it got to the point to where they were on the panel and before it got to the point of them getting their own show. I was there just like I was there when um, Mr. Israel, who said he was a Muslim at the time. Oh, you know what I'm saying? On Hold on. Let me get my Quran. <laughs> Where my Quran at? Where my Quran at? And hold on, look, look. Where is my Another person that always showed me love and and oh, I just want to let it be known. I you know I was over here on Black Man Unfiltered and I went over there to to his. So I don't know if that's the issue. Black Man Unfiltered. I'm sorry because I I was over in your stuff and then I went over there and started you know networking with it. What it is, what it is, TV, and I actually met them. I met the. Uh, I told you you were a cheater. I told you the first, the uh, other home, other homeboy, um, on your panel, and you know, all that good stuff. So I guess I, I guess I look, Jay, come at uh, it is what it is, cause he stole me from you. Hey, hey, <laughs> he stole well, you know, me. I, I mean, stole you know, I've been calling. I've been calling your ass a cheater for like the last week and a half. Look, look, straight up, straight up, straight up. Man, I'm a, oh, I'm a YouTube. Look, 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 I'm a YouTube. I'm a YouTube winch. <laughs> I'm a YouTube winch. <laughs> this shit, this shit, they get this shit is it's crazy to me because you know when we had like you know how every time I do a live stream when I was doing live streams we would have an after party and we would talk and I would and try to drop off any. I try to drop off any little knowledge that I know about this YouTube space because I've been on here for two years. I'm growing slow, but I'm trying to grow. And I'm like, I would try to drop that off to everybody that was on the panel. And I'm like, look, man, get out here. Grace took the initiative really strong when I said get out here and YouTube surf. She yeah. like, what you mean by YouTube surf? I'm like, when people are doing live streams, jump on the panels, network with people. Look at her now. Mm -hmm. She's been networking with all these people. I don't give a fuck that great that Grace comes over here and does shows on Black Man Unfiltered. I my yeah. number one goal was always Grace and Alexis can even vouch for this. I, I can't want vouch. you to build your own fucking channel up. Don't worry about the network. Build your channel up because yep. I just want people to come through for a minute and then get the fuck out. You yep. know, like yeah, I'm like somebody that's down on their hard times right now and they need a place to stay. Like yeah, I'm gonna let you come over here for a second. I'm gonna try to give you everything you need. Then I want you to get the fuck out of my house. <laughs> Get out of my house. That like, yes. and that was the same thing when Alexis doing her show when she did it because she just wanted to get started. She wanted to get to know it. Wally when he wanted to do his show, he wanted to get started. Marcus, Marcus and Wally was doing one together, so I'm like, I don't know what the fuck that was, but it was it was for everybody because I actually do believe in trying to get black people out here doing what they do, especially if I believe in a message. Like I don't know what old buddy. I don't look, man. He he need to stop acting like a hoe. Like These hoes ain't loyal. You gotta find somebody. <laughs> I need that clip right now. 
I need that clip right now. Yeah, I use that shit. But look, look, like, but even then, the, you on mute, Alexis. You on mute, girl. You went on mute. Hold up, click your button. You went on mute. Yeah, he uh. Bro, in the background, he was doing, he played his, the clip. But no, but like I was saying, like, you not, <laughs> man, it was gay. It was giving gay. It was giving gay. It was giving, maybe he'll suck a D for a billion dollars. <laughs> don't, don't, hit him, don't hit him with that. He just, he just highly emotional. Uh-uh. -uh. Okay. Yeah, he, he, okay. It was giving. It was giving men yeah, with no. He, no, because I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back. You know, because we like talk about. You know, how the single mom growing up. I don't know if he his mom just brought her brought him up by yeah, herself. Know, but you know how it is. But you know they right. come up. They come up with those feminine tendencies. They got feminine tendencies sometimes. Not all. Not all but all. Not all but all. <laughs> nah, I ain't said really? it like that. No, no, no. But there are men that no. I don't want to put it like that. I'm joking because that's what people say. That's just what they be saying. But no. Um Play the clip. Play it again one more time. I remember that shit. But no. <laughs> you Oh, they cracking me up tonight, man. I'm sorry, man. Y'all like, got me. It's good. Man. That shit's so it's hilarious, good. man. Nah, but shit, the, keep going. Nah. Um, but oh, yeah, shit. that's all I wanted to say was that it was given either gay or feminine tennis. That's what it was given. And I ain't like look, it. I, I ain't like it. Look, <laughs> I'm just I'm just happy that I know why Simon don't like me. I thought it was that I was like, I thought he didn't like me because uh he called I called him a simp. That night he was defending this lady cheating on her husband. But I'm glad I know what it is. He thinks that um uh I stole people from his channel as if people don't have free autonomy to do what they want to do. I guess he thinks of himself as a slave master and he can uh designate what grown ass men fucking do on the internet. And look, if that's how he feels, that's fine. Just uh, deal with the consequences that come from behind that. But it's, <laughs> I don't know what the fuck to say about that. I wanted to hear him keep digging a hole because whether Simon knows this or not, I'm clipping you because my nickname, like my name on my channel is called Let's Talk with JVJ, but my nickname in these YouTube streets is Clip King, and I'm gonna clip your bitch ass because you <laughs> came up here making yourself look stupid. So get ready for your personal video coming a little bit later, sir. Yes, and he can go over there and do all the little stuff he wanted to do over okay, here. He gonna get him alive. He gonna get just <laughs> a personal video. <laughs> <laughs> See, he can't say nothing about him. Say he gonna be in the look. He gonna pick up his keyboard like this. And be like, man, I can't stand this motherfucker. <laughs> That's what he gonna do. That's what he gonna have to do because he ain't gonna be able to say a goddamn word. This shit's fucking hilarious, but... But you know what? You know what I'm saying? Great pate. But we got a motor if we gonna get to what we really was here for. What we yes. really was here for. Now we got all that out of the way. Anyway. Bring it back. So, um, yeah. This man with the last name Israel was saying that he was a Muslim when I first met him. And I, I remember like, because I, I, I was like, I told him, and this was the time we were all in the back. And I told him that I was like, oh, you know, I'm a Christian. I believe in, you know, but even then, and then hold on, Jay, because did he say he was a Muslim or did he say, um, or was he an Israel? No, I don't think he was an Israelite. Was did he say anything about being a five percenter or something like that? I could, I don't even want to misinterpret it, but I thought it was he was saying that he was a Muslim, but I don't remember him ever like giving trying to because we had a little back and forth at one point because I know he was trying to like. Like he did on the live with uh, y'all the other night, trying to manipulate the Bible and the text 
when he was talking like no no i don't think i don't think that's what it, it was saying but okay i guess <laughs> but that's why i mean you're reading from the text talking about don't lean on your own interpretation and he talks about having people in your space and that could teach you what he meant was or now i'm gonna say what he meant was because his thoughts are not my thoughts and his ways are not my ways but from the context he was talking that if you don't understand what the scripture and what his commandments are that you don't lean on your own understanding as in make it up as in if it says thou should not kill i'm not gonna be like oh well i mean i guess he meant um only if it's if i gotta kill because i don't like this person or no no he's saying <laughs> do not kill there's nothing else to go along with that so when he says that you don't lean on your own understanding that's what it's saying like don't if you don't understand it, you should seek help and get people that are knowledgeable that know the scriptures to help you understand the context not saying that oh you just don't like why would there be bibles why would there be people like reading and all this other stuff like if, if they're not, if we're not supposed to have our own understanding why is why do we even have the book why do we even have the book if we're not supposed to have an understanding of certain things and he laid it out saying if you don't understand it that's why there's a community that's why there's a pastor and that's why these pastors and everybody that, that teach are held accountable in a different way than i am if i'm telling you like right now jay with me explaining that to you i'm not a pastor i'm not a teacher so I wouldn't be held accountable as a pastor talking because I'm not that. But it says in the scripture that these people, pastors and all that, will be held to a higher standard than somebody like me because they're the ones that's supposed to know the word of God, go to school for it. That, like, <laughs> ah, man, I, yeah. Uh, and I don't, and I ain't never liked that. I don't like people manipulating the Bible, trying to do stuff like that. I never liked that. Uh, I, I didn't like it when my parents did it. I used to like loathe the fact when my mom or dad used. No, my dad didn't quote it too much. But it was my mom like, oh, um, honor and obey your mother and father so your days could be longer upon the earth. They will always say that part, but they don't never say the part where that's right after it that tells do not, not to make your children. Huh? Hey, look, nah, you're 100 right. That 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 verse. You have a lot of people that manipulate the Bible. The same the same way these people in this country and black people should really a lot of us melanated people in America who are born on this soil, who parents came from this soil, should understand that that was the exact same thing. Manipulation of the Bible to put us in chains. Yes. Because there was there was one scripture in there talking about slaves do not rebel against your masters. Oh, they ran with that one. Oh yeah. There are a lot of people that sit out here and manipulate the Bible and try to just, I, I, I don't, I call them verse readers. Mm -hmm. I call them verse readers. Mm -hmm. Read one verse, read the whole chapter, buddy. Yeah. And I, I agree with you. That 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 person that you are speaking of is, is one of those that will just take a part of it and run with it as if it is what it is. Like, you already know my stance. And most people would think my stance there's no way me and you could be cool. There's no way me and you could. Hey, ain't gonna lie. Alexis is my homegirl. That like she my tea girl now. Like <laughs> we gotta talk about tea. I'm gonna call her. <laughs> <laughs> like if I got some shit I wanna talk about. Like these YouTube shits. I'm gonna call her first. I and I'm here for it. For. She's <laughs> for that shit. But uh, my beliefs or my stances that you know I stand on over on my side. That doesn't deter you from coming over here. Despite all the people that call me a woman hater and all this other little shit. And now we got Simon in here talking about I'm a stealer. I steal men. <laughs> Next thing you know, they're going to call me gay again. I don't know where this shit coming from. But uh, you can't, you can't, these, these dynamics cannot coexist at the same time yeah. if these accusations are false. Right. Because there's no possible way that I can be all these things like I, I'm still tripping on Simon came in here, and I'm like, dude, do you, 
Because I, I'm sitting back thinking, like, because I know Simon probably is older than me. And I'm like, dude, do you, uh, do you hear yourself right now? And that's what I be thinking about. Oh, buddy, they like to like to come in and tell women they don't know what they talking about. And the favorite word, I'm I'm I'm, I'm tired of this, Lexus. You are gonna love this shit, gentlemen. Just because you read the dictionary and you learn one word and you say it multiple times does not make you seem like you are intelligent. And this word that I'm speaking of that this one person likes to do is dissertation. Need a dissertation. I'm sorry, buddy. This less than 15 letter word ain't gonna get you into the club of you smart. I'm just throwing it out there for you. Because I, I, I'm well traveled. Well traveled. Well, I, I, I just start to say well traveled. <laughs> I'm a I'm a little educated and I can sniff out a fuck boy when I see one. And then we got a lot of I'm going to stop saying the F word. We got a lot of suckers running around here pretending to be prophets. We got a lot of false prophets out here right now. Ooh, and they ooh. need... They need oh, can, look, can, look, I, can I... Let me interject. Let me interject an insult because I got my fur on. So <laughs> I'm going to interject the insult. Job, turkey, motherfuckers. That's what I would say. Okay, go ahead. No, you over there. You is over there looking like Foxy Foxy Brown right now. I ain't gonna hold it. All we need to do is get you some some roller skates and you. <laughs> Look, you know we all we gotta do is check the van. That's all we. That's, That's all, all we gotta, we gotta do. do. But now, nah, man, like it's we got a lot of false prophet dudes out here, man. Just just embarrassing. The, the group. And that's why I always say, Alexis, you can even vouch for this. That's why I say, I'm not talking about all women when I'm over on my channel talking about certain topics. I'm saying I really want an army of women. I want an army. I got two right now. I know for a fact I got Alexis and I got Miss Embrace of Grace. But I need a lot more. I I'm, I think I might have Lena. Lena might betray us, though. I don't know. I, I'm still working on her. <laughs> still working on her. But I need y'all to fight against the, the 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 crazy women that give y'all a bad name. Just like I need a bunch of men that's going to push back on these fake-ass people or these simp-ass dudes out here that give us a bad name. The problem is we live in a society right now where it's like, just, it's okay. Everybody can just do whatever they want. Yeah, they can do whatever they want over the fuck there. Do it over there. Keep that shit away from us. Like sexy red shouldn't be coming to no goddamn high school for no kids. Like mean. like like Dr. Umar. I'm sorry. No, I ain't I ain't gonna do Dr. Umar. Look, 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 look. Look, look. That's what that's what that's what we're gonna start calling him, aka Dr. Umar uh point five. He ain't even an upgrade. He a downgrade oh, to Umar. <laughs> Omar Omar minus point one. <laughs> Cause he a well renowned, not he a renowned book writer. Look, he about to have a he about to have a school. It's gonna be called um. Nobody uh, coming. Huh? I'm sorry. I said it's gonna be called nobody coming. <laughs> <laughs> him and him and Simon gonna have school together. Let me stop. <laughs> Ah, that's incredible. That's, you, you know the funny thing is, you remember when I did a smoke show on my shit, like smoke show. You uh -huh. know, ain't nobody show up. You know, there ain't nobody show up for the smoke. Yeah. I'm like, like, what the fuck, man? Like, I'm literally trying to be entertained right now. Like, are you? I'm going. I ain't got no then, problem with nobody. But then you want to come up on the female show, and you want to, you know, what I'm saying, you want to come up on the female show, try to try to play that. He he was trying to be a chameleon for like that word I threw out. That he was trying to be a chameleon for one moment. Talk about you oh, I'm something funny. <laughs> you want to hear? You want to hear something funny? Because my you know my brain moved funny. You know my brain moved funny from when I was in the service. Yeah. But you remember? You remember in the video I played for you with Israel? He said his bitch Grace fucking hit him up to come up on the panel. In my mind now, I'm thinking who uh who's Simon bitch that told him to come up on the panel. <laughs> and trying to talk shit. I'm worried there right now. Because I'm like, Simon, that, that was kind of random. It was random as fuck that Simon just came out of nowhere. And I haven't talked to Simon in mm -hmm. months. Because, you know, I don't do live streams anymore. And I ain't been jumping on... Well, I have been jumping on a few live streams over the last couple of days. But I, it's been a big gap from what I used to do. Because, you know, it was always like six days a week, seven days a week, or five days a week. 
I'm wondering if somebody hit Simon up for somebody to come up and say that that whole ass shit that he mm. said. Look, I, I got the it's 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 turning right now. I got me feeling like, but that's what's saying. Like I didn't even, I didn't even like come like yo like ooh. I was going back and forth. That was Kansas City and Texas coming out. And look, I was because my daughter just came home and she's in the extra room watching a movie. And mm. I went back there when I walked away. That's what I was doing, getting the uh Chromecast and all that set you, up for you her. You can tell when you turn your camera off. You ain't even on screen no more. Can nobody see? No, nah, but I still had I, I still had the camera on because I ain't like I didn't think we it was gonna take to her. Oh yeah, but yeah, so I went back there to put the thing on, and I heard, and I that's why I was like, I rushed out here like, wait a minute. And then when I finished, I went back to help with my daughter, and she said, Mommy, are you okay? I said, yeah, I'm good, baby. I'm good. Like, because she know, like, wait a minute. Like, she okay, she asked me she was o- if I was okay, because she knew that was that mama tone. Like, I can't, look, I came out the room, like, wait a minute. Hey, Who? hey Alexis, you pulled one of my numbers. You remember back in the day when we was doing our, doing the live stream, the network, and you know Israel would be on there and other people would be on there. I would get up, I would, I'd turn my camera off and walk away. Like, yeah, I got to go grab something real quick. Like, got to use the bathroom real quick. Like, and I'll come back like, what the, what the, what the hell that happened? <laughs> what the what, What's going on, man? This motherfucker over here saying crazy shit again? Like, damn, man. Like, and that's what, I, and I really wanted to hear what Simon had to say, too. That's why I was like, yo, just say what your issue is. Like, because <laughs> just, I would have loved to understood that. I ain't gonna lie. I would have loved to understood, like, what, what, like, really, what is your issue, man? Yeah. Like, if, I, if, if, if it, if it is what he said it was in the very beginning, which we know is deeper than that. That's why we're yeah. saying that y'all, all of y'all, like, man, he said it. No, no, it's deeper than that. But if it was just what he said, that's Say pause. Look. Say pause. Yeah. Pause. Say pause. pause. <laughs> no homo. <laughs> I, was, I don't know, just when you said it the second time, I'm I was like, it's look, deeper look, than look, that. Look. Look, somebody gonna clip that shit of me, and I'm gonna see it on the internet. Right. Oh, <laughs> but it's shit. Like we, like if it was just that, like that he thought I poached, or yeah, that he thought I poached his contributors to his channel. Like that's what it is. Like, dude, I need to know what your channel is, and I need to see how many subs you got. Cause I'm like. They gonna start making me big boy the ass, and I don't want to. I don't want to ever get on that type of shit because I think that shit's lame for somebody to sit here and say I got this and you got that. Like that's yeah. bullshit. We all men, but I'm like, dude, you you coming out of the woodwork swinging, and I'm like, I don't know who the fuck you swinging at. Like, mom. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Call for your mama. I stayed off your ass out of respect for that woman. But if it wasn't for your mama. What broke your little ass down a long time ago? What he said. Hey, I, exactly. And, and that part crushed me up because I, I hear that. Mama. <laughs> I, he was like, he came in real like that was suspect, man. I don't. I, that's what I'm thinking. Like somebody set him up to do that, man. Yeah, I'm yeah you honest. think cheapest creepers in them? Might be, man. Damn, I didn't even know. Yeah, I ain't even knowing Kenny was here. Uh, man, I yeah, he would. Come up on screen. God damn. You think Jeepers Creepers sent him? We just don't get that. But like, not, not, no bullshit. We need to be, we need, look. I'm already signing myself up to be a sword. I signed myself up a long time ago. I'm going to be a sword. I need some people behind me with some shields. And we're going to protect everybody else that ain't, ain't got time for the fight. Cause some people mm-hmm. just going to be here like I ain't finna go up there and argue with these motherfuckers, but I will I will toe the line. Like it's the same thing when it comes to sheep dogs, wolves, and goddamn sheep. Like I need some of my dudes out here to be real sheep dogs and protect the goddamn sheep from these goddamn wolves and motherfuckers out here tripping. Cause I understand everybody's not gonna make the goddamn boat. Yeah. And I think pretty much everybody knows the goddamn story and knows, so you get the concept. Everybody not gonna make no boat. Like it's gonna be some some terrible women out here. There's gonna be some terrible men out here. There gonna be some terrible kids. But it all comes down to which side you are gonna pick to be on. I, I I just don't understand it. Like weak men are not the solution to our society right now. And you know I preach that shit all the time. 
Because like I don't speak about bad female behavior, but I don't think under people like people that actually do think they get the concept of okay, he's pointing out what to avoid, motherfucker. Yeah. Don't deal with that. And for the ladies that actually don't do that, or a matter of fact, let's say they do do that. It's okay. telling them the men don't like this. The men don't like this. And for the women that don't do it, just avoid that altogether. Like if people ain't thinking outside of the box and just seeing shit on surface level, I don't I don't know what to tell you. Like you just not gonna make the boat. And I promise you, that bitch ain't stopping. Once it move, it move. It ain't stopping for you. So you might want to catch on before you can. I ain't saying I'm the end all be all when it comes to like the understanding of shit, but I damn sure will sit out here and have a conversation and I have my beliefs and I'm a stink on it. Like I'm I'm 10 toes. If I'm wrong, I'll admit I'm wrong. Alexis was there for my apology video that y'all can't see no more because I had to delete all my YouTube <laughs> shit. Wait, wait, wait. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I ain't got a problem with admitting that shit. But like for real, man, we need to be men. If we gonna have these conversations, we're gonna have arguments back and forth. We need to be men and have the conversation. And but you know also saying? have men like conversations. You confronting another man about stealing other man <laughs> unless <laughs> unless you date men. And and it's that type of dynamic. I but if it's not, that I don't I don't Alexis, Alexis I'm laughing now because this shit funny in my head. How the fuck did we go from uncanny checking goddamn Israel because Israel trying to steal his girl? <laughs> <laughs> Jay, oh, no, 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 that Jay, brings Jay, balance. That brings balance. Jay, to be honest with you, I'm Mr. Steal Your Girl. Hey, that shit funny, man. I'm laughing like, look, we 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 argued against it in the beginning, and then somebody came here and did pretty much the exact same. How the fuck you gonna steal my man from me? <laughs> <laughs> but no, man. But no, that's like I said, that's balance. That shit is hilarious, man. I'm, I'm just tripping, man. And I always live my life. Yeah, he can't steal nothing that the heist already been done. You know, like, I mean? like, it's already gone, motherfucker. Yeah, like his begging ass in the inbox. That's why he didn't want to put up the screenshots. He didn't want to put up the messages. He's begging but see, I'm, 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 I'm be honest with y'all, man. I don't, I didn't, I didn't know Simon even had a show, bro. I didn't know I stole his people from him. And honestly, if I did. I don't fucking care about none of that bullshit. Wally and Marcus came to my channel multiple times. They liked the content that I produced. People came through. They wanted to join the live streams. Alexis, you was there with me when I first started saying, look, I'm a, I'm, I think I might do live streams. Because you remember all I did was videos. All yeah. I did was videos. Now mm -hmm. I'm known for doing shorts. Live streams was never like my really go-to shit. So I'm like, look, man, I'm gonna do some live streams and people started coming up. We was really trying to build it up to actually get people to jump on the fucking panel. That was like the biggest grind. Yeah. Now, I would never, like, I, I don't really want panels no more now. But either <laughs> way, though, they came through my channel that way. They were in the chat. That's how I seen Alexis. That's how I seen Wally. That's how I seen Israel. That's how I seen Death Note. That's how I seen Lena. That's how I seen it. Uncanny. That's how I seen all of y'all. In the chat, motherfucker, I ain't stealing shit from you, man. I ain't stealing shit from you. You don't like me. You need to sub up, motherfucker. <laughs> you know, goddamn, come over here and learn some. I drop some nice shit for you during the day and get you going. But I don't, I don't, look, men don't need to be like that. I can't eat. Yes, uh, Kenny, you're going to have to redeem yourself, man, because I, I, you out of the man category. Even when me and you was arguing before, I was calling you a simp. A simp can be a man. But now what you did tonight, like, look, man, you you in that category that me and Alexis was talking about earlier, you and that little boy. Matter of fact, it wasn't even little boy. It wasn't even you, Alexis. It was goddamn David. David mm. said that shit. Mm. You, you were that, you a grown boy. You a grown <laughs> ass boy. And you're going to have to stay there until you redeem that shit, like, you can't come back from that, man. That, that's crazy. Well, you can't come back from that, though. I'll take that back. I'll take that back. You can come back from that. But you need to work on that, man, because that, that was crazy. You sound like a hoe. Uh, back to um, One of the greats from Brooklyn uh, said that jealousy is a female emotion, and y'all got to overcome that. So I'm just... Don't throw that out there. Oh, we got we got a lot of feminine ass dudes out here. I never yeah. fucking deny that. One makes a stream every day. <laughs> <laughs> and just randomly mentions your name. Look, he might like you. 
<laughs> and I'm trying to tell you this. I was not trying to be racist or nothing like this, but I'm trying to get you into the psyche of somebody like this person. The man is mad that this black man is mad that he lost his woman to a Hispanic. <laughs> oh, he lost it real bad. He's still begging. And it's crazy that this same motherfucker sat on there and talked shit about baby mamas, but then tried to run. I'm, and I ain't trying to be mean by saying baby mama at all, ladies. I know I already know. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just saying. Just no, 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 no. I right, want right, you to no. say it, Jay. No, I want no, you to he say sat it. Up there. I'll say it. I'll say it for you. He sat up there and told men, do not date women with kids. And then he started talking to a woman with a kid. And he also said, don't date women, date women younger or something like that. Yeah. And he date somebody older or trying to date somebody that's older. Yeah, you're a hypocrite. Like, it's, just, it's just hypocrisy at its fucking finest. And we need to weed this shit. That's why I look, Alexis didn't use a name for this video that I wanted her to use because I wanted her to title no. this motherfucker okay. Scorch Earth. We going Scorch Earth on everybody, but she wanted to go with, you know, because she had to review her product, so I ain't going to hold it. So I think it was very inventive, and it was very, you know, not yes. what I wanted. But yes. either way, though. Yes. And you know what? It builds character. You're welcome. Hey, hey look, I like it. I like it. I ain't going to hold it. I actually do like it. We don't buy it. We review it. That shit kind of cold. <laughs> that shit is kind of cold. <laughs> Fuck you. But now, nah, like, we need to start calling this shit the fuck out, man. And people need, like, I'm all for letting people that I think have bullshit mindsets or terrible arguments or terrible views on to any live stream or anything that I do socially. And I think other people should have that too. But I also think they should bring that energy of checking that shit. Yes. Because in my mind, I be thinking people stupid. You came over here to get embarrassed. That's exactly what he did. <laughs> that's, that's, that's Stop playing with yourself, man. Stop playing with yourself. And 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 back to the original person, he came over here last night, well, the other night, and got embarrassed. And I'm going to say it right now. Look, I said, uh, and I told you, Jay, look, I called, I called black men, and I said, hey, look, it was me. <laughs> I was, I was the one that kept muting him and muting him in the back. Because he was trying to talk over everybody. And that was an issue that we had before, Jay. And you came on there and you told him that. You're not going to be up here over talking everybody. This is not your show. He doesn't have respect for other people's platforms. Yeah, he does not. And he and I was well, I was quick to mute him that night. Quick to mute him. You ain't going to come over here. Uh, look. I and think over talk. Then he tried to do that, he try to do that the same night. when. Remember your first show? Well, you and um, Karina, Melanie, you and Karina. Did he try to show up that night? Because I think was it he was in the back. He was in, in the, the back, back writing shit mm -hmm. in the comment section. Sounds about right. <laughs> I had to smell it out for a second. But yeah, it's like that motherfucker just don't understand like basic decorum. I think I think that's one of the better words to go. Yeah, with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like you, like, you don't shit. have to. Yeah, I'm like, you don't gotta like the topic that the people speak of, because you know, like you already know, I done said something to you multiple times about how that irritated me. Like, you don't have to like the topic, you don't have to like the conversation, you can always click the fuck off. Mm -hmm. Why leave negative comments in there? Like, look, if you want to hit me later on the goddamn uh the comment section on the on the video, by all means do it. But during the live stream, you're doing it because you want to be seen. Yeah, you want to be seen, and you being like you being a hater, like that's all. Like if you really had a disagreement, bring your ass up, bring your ass up, and argue your own point. Yeah, and, and but make sure you're arguing the point. Don't yeah, argue me. Argue the point. And that's 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 where a lot of people fall off. They get um, they get in their feelings. But speaking of last night, the other night. David, can you play that real quick? Like, I'm gonna skip. Oh, no, nah, it's not fast. David in the back, it's uh, Lost in Translation. Lost, can you play that real quick? Like, I'm gonna pause it up here on my side, but I'm gonna fast forward just to show one point about what Alexis was talking about. If Lost is there, <laughs> Houston, we have a problem. Oh, I'm here. <laughs> You what show y'all talking about from last night? Uh, yeah, he got it down there. If you could play it. All right. 
Let me take. Let's see. Did you put it in the back chat? It's it's no, it's it's sitting on the screen. You just gotta click on it. It's a uh, I shared it up like a presented shit, so it should be like right down. Oh, where okay. All the I got faces you. Are. Yeah. I got you. I got you. There it is. Thank you. you gotta take it to scripture and say the Bible teaches me. That it's better for me to sleep on the roof of this house than to sleep in the house with you because of your mouth. Facts. Hey, I just wanted to let that play real quick. Like before, uh, before we skip ahead, like Black Man was preaching right there. I got to give him his preaching shit. But to <laughs> Alexa's point from the other night watching the show, because Alexa said, "Fuck this shit." <laughs> I'm not even gonna sit up here for this nonsense. The men kind of gave the same sentiment, and look, look, look it's funny. It's funny. Translation, you was there that night. This shit funny at the end. Because I, I like I don't know who said this shit, and I want to find out right now who said it, but this shit was fucking hilarious. But here we go. A lot of people don't understand the swoop game when it comes down to all of it. Hold on, let they me skip it here. Like, Y'all don't need to hear me. I forget girl made that, made that song about that. Riding my best friend's ride in the passenger side. Yeah, TLC. You've yeah. you been, you been rocking out. Trey Fur, get better. You need to be a better man. Uh, Mandrill, I ain't seen oh, your family. Oh, you know, I, I hate you, but it. I love you. I'm and, uh, my bad, my bad, my bad, y'all, my bad. Hold on, I gotta go back to before he ran away. All right, he's right there, right there, right there. He's right there. Y'all, look, te YouTube technical difficulties. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah, that's where it is. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> I remember that. This shit is fucking hilarious, y'all. <laughs> I gotta play this shit. I'm sorry, y'all. Let's let, translate. Let, 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 <laughs> All right, yo, y'all, just, just get your popcorn real quick right now. <laughs> this shit was fucking hilarious, bro. You gotta be the one to set this I'm sorry, everybody. I had to cut out. I thank y'all for your time tonight. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you, brother. Yeah, I, I was God. literally God. about God. to leave right when he said that shit. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for leaving. <laughs> 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 Why I do him like that? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at y'all. I'm trying to tell you that shit was fucking hilarious. It was. <laughs> oh, I, I'll put chat here and ask the question. He said, What y'all talking about? Oh shit. So make him bring it up. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, that, that's uncanny. Ch Ops. We talking about we talking about uh V and his bullshit. I'm so I'm so challenged. Oh <laughs> god. It says what the fuck y'all talking about, where the other person talking is uncanny y'all screen right now, uh, but uh I'm sorry y'all. Look look Alexis back to back to the original program and I'm gone. Uh, v and his feelings because he out here losing oh. taking L's like motherfucking crazy, just every day taking a fucking L. That's what it is. I mean, um, and and then I there there was somebody in his in his live today, and uh, I just like to say that that person has the unnatural allegiance to losers. I just needed to say that. Get in my cat bag. <laughs> Look, I'm saying, um, he had one person <laughs> on there. Then you popped in, Jay. He had two people. <laughs> it's gonna be, it's gonna be bad when I, I, I produce. Like I dropped this video on Monday because uh, it's gonna show you, you. Everybody knows on YouTube. You can see at the very bottom how many people are watching, and uh, that shit's gonna be bouncing around the goddamn screen. Why this person is saying certain things? Because uh, this is it, it, dreams of grandeur. Like, hey, matter of fact, hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. I just recognized where did I come from? That's what Uncanny <laughs> said like three times. Oh my goodness! You know I said mine's a slow over here. Look, shout out to uh, out from the norm, one of the uh, original OGs, OGs from back in the day that knows. <laughs> Uh, if you go, if you go on his live gotta, right now, to like yeah, you gotta go back. I, there's like seven streams where he just talks about me and me. <laughs> and hold on, travel one, 
Say, hmm. He trying to figure out what's going on. But look, it's, you know what I'm saying? It's, you know, little, little. I'm, I'm going to tell him what's going on. We don't buy it. Look, <laughs> look, look, I wish I had that clip of, uh, but we want to know what we're going to do. I'm going to find it or you'll find it, Jay. The, um, the life. Tell him about the gun line, boss. Tell him about the gun line, boss. <laughs> Tell about the good life, folks. We need to talk about this shit. And I actually is a perfect example of how how men handle shit. And Alexis, you can attest for this too. Uncanny, you weren't around during this time for this one. But uh, Alexis can attest that me and Op got into it on my network. We got into it. We broke up. <laughs> we, broke up. <laughs> we broke up like a motherfucker. Me and this man, cool. We had a conversation. We hashed our shit out like grown ass men. Yeah. That's for LeBron versus MJ. <laughs> Yo, man, that ain't that like that'll never be over with. <laughs> Your boy losing right now, though. Your boy that losing. That shit right going now. to the grace, bro. <laughs> look, he so, said, hey, look, I said pause. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pause. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we got a pause on that. I keep saying some suspect shit. But either way, though. Outside of that, because y'all homophobic. But either way, though, <laughs> fucking, uh, we, 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 we had our conversation and we had our shit out. We gonna bump heads just like Uncanny said when it comes to like strong, hard beliefs about shit. That's really just an argument because we can't really prove it. Michael Jordan, fucking, uh, LeBron. But we're grown men and we can deal with each other. We can, we can have conversations. We can still coincide or we can choose not to be at war with each other. Now, in the video I'm gonna do on Monday, I want y'all, I want y'all to hear me now because I ain't lying to you, and I'm gonna show you the proof for it. I tried to make fucking peace with this yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, Lena told me, but he I, he got too much pride. You know what I'm saying? Like that's why he keeps doing what he's doing because he he just he that's where that saying come. Pride cometh before the fall. Act fresh and fit about it. Um, I need to, yeah, y'all can talk about LeBron and whoever, but I just want to go my homes, girl. Go ahead, and just Wait, yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, home. thank you, thank you. And and if Simon see this, this is what I'm saying. Like, I know Jay, like, Jay know me, he know he knew what I was about to say, he knew what I was about to say. It's the goat, my homes, and I want to give a shout out real quick to my middle sister, my little sister, uh, because I saw the Time magazine with. With my man's, you know, I was saying on it, and I was like, I shared on Facebook, I was like, Who gonna cop this for me? And then my little sister came through and she sent me a picture of her having this magazine, you know what I'm saying? I'm a that just shows you I'm a great big sister, you know what I'm saying? I'm great for the squad. Hey, look, oh, god damn it. I, I, I'm forgetting names because I've been drinking. <laughs> Who is the gentleman that is running the the back right now? Lost in translation. Lost in translation. Okay, translation. I'm gonna need y'all to tell me how y'all do what y'all doing right now. With if you're not on camera, you're not on screen. Y'all need to show me how y'all do that because I'm I'm gonna use that when I when I one day when I decide to do live streams. Yeah, we got you. <laughs> hey, so okay. Um, when I back say to the fake niggas. I'm sorry. Back to back, you know what I'm saying? We going, going back to back to this fake stuff. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> this fake I'm sorry. stuff. I'm getting crunk. You got to talk to me. You feel me? Or, or no, 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 no. Let me throw out there. Since I was just talking about the goat, we going back to back like the Chiefs did. Oh, oh. Damn. Back to back to back coming up. Let mm. me know right now. We three P around this bitch. But anyway, this yeah. is a sports yeah, show. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, and um, I just it just breaks my heart sometimes because I be seeing these people out here and they just talking this mess, and I be feeling like, dang man, high school must have been rough for you. <laughs> like that's how I feel. I'm like, damn, high school must have been rough for you because you're you're just. I want to put this out there right now, like. If you got unsolved um, high school issues, uh, please call 1-800-READ-YOUR-BIBLE. 
I was say one eight hundred. Grow the fuck up. <laughs> read and and when you read your Bible, do not lean on your own understanding. If you don't understand it, please reach out to an elder or a pastor. Ask for guidance. <laughs> Ask, for Ask for guidance. Guys. But I don't. But yeah, that that was some straight like. When I see people acting like that and, and trying to fake the funk, like everybody, you know, get to um. I ain't going to say everybody, but everybody does have the opportunity to get on YouTube and fake the funk and be a person that acts like they're doing something that they're not or acting like they have something that they don't. So um, by all means, have fun at it. But at the end of the day, whatever you do in the dark will come to the light. Uh, Wisdom will be proven right by her children. You will know them by their fruit. Let me stop. (laughs) You remember, you remember what I told you today. You remember what I told you today. And I I, I, I truly, honestly, y'all, I truly believe this. I'm at this point now. And I'm putting my right hand up to God so y'all can see me get struck down. Because this is a thunderstorm going outside right now. So it just might happen. Um, <laughs> I don't hate anything in this world. Mm-hmm. But the closest thing to hate has always been a toss-up for me. Racist. And hypocrites. Mm-hmm. And I told Alexis earlier, I think the hypocrites done, done took took the lead. Can't stand a fucking hypocrite. I'd rather a racist person tell me who they are. So at least I know how to move. But a hypocrite is somebody that walks around on a day-to-day basis saying one thing and doing another. And it's always a guessing game. I, I can't stand a hypocrite, y'all. I cannot stand a hypocrite. And that's what that's that's the whole point of this. Man, you can say whatever you want. We ain't buying it, but we will talk about that shit. Mm-hmm. We will talk about it. We will review the hell out of it. Yeah, and like and, and anything you put out um for public consumption is always going to be up for public criticism. Don't don't be like you know, hey, and I'm sure he probably gonna make something about us, and and he probably gonna call me a b. Ain't and- nobody gonna ain't nobody gonna watch it. <laughs> <laughs> oh no 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 no! It's gonna be one person watching. I ain't gonna lie to you, Alexis. Since I came up here, it's about to be twenty streams now or thirty. What you he, say? I mean, he big, he big man. He 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 said if he came up, he gonna be twenty streams. Look, I'm like, oh, Jenny. I don't. I look. I'm honestly. I think me and you both in the race. Who we don't like? No, no. <laughs> you stole my girl. I can't stay your nuts. I don't know who winning right now, but it really don't even fucking matter, though. It's going to be funny because everything this person... I want people to understand this shit, and this is not just saying, like, to like, deter people from coming at me, because I actually want people to tell me about myself. Alexis, you can vouch for this. Uh, we had a big group. We had a big group for a while. It done dissolved a little bit. Well, actually, it dissolved all the way. <laughs> <laughs> and look, look, look. I was going to let you rock. I was going to let you rock. Nah, I ain't going to let it ride. I'm going to tell you, it, it ain't that no more. We got... Grace and we got CJ, but either way though, we always had an understanding of look, we need to check each other. Yeah, and you remember that night when I was wrong? Oh yeah, y'all y'all ate no homo pause. Y'all ate my ass up, <laughs> <laughs> and I I literally Alexa could even vouch for this. I had to do an apology video the very next day. Yeah, like get it over, with. do a live stream, apologize for what the fuck you did. Like ain't none of us above accountability. Nope. None of us. And for nope. all the people that sit around and act like people can't criticize them, that should be the first thing for everybody that's watching, everybody that's listening. That should be the first thing to trigger off in your head. To be like, that's somebody I shouldn't get behind. Because mm-hmm. they quick to call everybody else out, but they won't take accountability for their own shit. I ain't following you. You would do as I say, not as I do, motherfucker. And I can't, I can't follow you, because you're going to lead me to my death. Man. And I just want to interject, like, I don't like ugly people. And um Damn, the other thing baby. I wanna say you was really not like him. <laughs> and then the next thing I wanna say, look, look, I hey, look. Look, look, hey, Lex, I'm sorry. I gotta do my day's pill. Nigga, cold as ice. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> so you was really not like him. <laughs> my God. Man, but no, but so, but 
Um, sure. that's just me being Alexis from Texas and being extra, you know. But at the same time, um, I don't like people that try to fake the funk. I don't like that. Like, like we were saying, I guess hip, like you said earlier, hypocrites. Like, how you talking to men? And talking about what men's supposed to do and how men's supposed to work, and you living with your sister, and then try to move in with Lena. You forgot mm. to try to beg to move in with her. He mm. was trying so hard. He was trying so hard. She was like, "Please, baby, let me get over there." And so trying to live her, she could take care of him. He ain't fooling nobody. I know his little game. And and while we talk about scripture, I thought I, I thought there was something in the Bible that talks about a man, you know, how a man's supposed to be. And from my interpretation of that, a man should not be living with his sister. Hey, look, 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 hey, look, 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 you said it, not me, because you no, already know. I no, mean. Jay, a man should not be living with his sister at sixty. <laughs> look, look, I'll, I'll put it like this. Let's let's just be real. We got to say it one hundred. A man that claims he's an author, a published author that is a three king that has. <laughs> you know, they, look, I, I'm sorry, man. Because the New York best you know, the New York best selling time whatever a photographer <laughs> that took pictures of whatever he says he ain't got no eye no more, so he can't take pictures no more. It's over for him. I'm telling you, it's over for him. And what book? <laughs> look, like, real. like who read it <laughs> like you, like the, the funny thing i notice nowadays when somebody says i'm a published author and this is not me to push down on anybody that actually has written a book anybody can write a fucking book like you anybody can put it up fee. on amazon too yeah you just pay the fee to put your stuff up on there Pay your monthly fucking fee so they'll promote your book, and you you're a published fucking author. I'm just being honest. It's like it's like me bragging about having car insurance. Like it's not it's not nothing to brag about. It's not nothing to brag about, especially when nobody knows what you speak of. But that's me being an asshole right now. I'm sorry. But and he said he makes six figures before or whatever. But now you make let's say he makes a thousand a month off that disability check. What's that like four thousand? That's a big fall off. So yeah, she's better. She's better by life. That's what it is. And you know what? And I don't wanna I wanna be sensitive because if you live in with a family member because there's like medical issues and you can't be by yourself because of you know reasons like that, like that type of stuff I understand. But I mean you you know the video that I have to I have for that where like look if that's the situation like you're saying and yeah. i've always been like, i always been like understanding like yeah man that, that could be the situation man like, sickly you need some people around you and then the best place to be around well the best people to be around is your family because your yes. family don't care about you the most so i get that but when you in your room talking on a live stream cussing people out on a don't you say it stream, don't you say you it you already know i'm gonna say it i'm just not say gonna it, show say it. it say i'm it. gonna say it i'm just not gonna show it but when you in the room cussing out females on a live stream panel because you irritated or you triggered off of what they said and your sister comes in the room and tells you to shut the fuck up and you get real quiet talking about, oh, I think I need to just go outside. I think you not need to be running your mouth around here in these YouTube streets trying to criticize anybody else saying they not a man. I think you might need to understand that because think about it. Once again, y'all, if it was the disability part and this person was doing what they did, they should be moving in with a, a family member and paying majority of the bills so they actually have some say so. It sounds like somebody walking into your room telling you to shut the fuck up that you might be living off of them. <laughs> so you ain't doing no man type shit. So I don't, I'm just going to leave right now. I, the, the video will be in my video on Monday. I, I I keep saying Monday. Hold on. Give me at least to Tuesday because I might want to bullshit. But either way, though, I got one coming for you. Hey. Like, and, and that's that. <laughs> and you know what? But you know what? with a woman. Ain't trying to be a dad. He <laughs> said, My Brooklyn. He said that. He said that to my girlfriend's baby. That was my a Brooklyn. Weird. That yeah. was a little weird. But I ain't got no. 
Now I'm saying that 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 was a little weird because first off that ain't his child, and then secondly he's never even met that child, but supposedly that's his. That sounded a little bit, and I'm not trying to insinuate no pedos around here. I'm not putting that on him because that is not what he. That's is. what I thought. I I don't, I don't believe I don't believe that's what he is. I just believe he's narcissistic, and it was weird that he said that because I heard that. I heard, I heard it, it and, too, I and I was like, "What the Damn. fuck?" Okay, that, that was a little weird. I'm, I'm not. Well, look, look. I just disagree with it. So it's weird to me. It's weird to me. For everybody else, that is not weird too. Man, look by all means, but that that was a little suspect. Just nah. a little. <laughs> I can't say it, man. I can't even like that nigga. No, nah, it's not that. It's just like, damn, oh, bro. Baby, like, I wouldn't like him either. It's like, damn, 20 streams? Jesus Christ. That's that's just somebody that can't get over oh, the fact that they, they lost out. They lost out on something that they claim they didn't really care about that much. And that's the that's the issue. And that's why we all, like, at least on my side, and Alexis, you can vouch for this again. That's why I always tell men to not be emotional. An emotional man is a dangerous man. He out here looking like Carl Thomas, man. <laughs> he out here looking like Carl Thomas. I don't get him. I really don't. One minute he's saying you on mute, Alexis. <laughs> you on mute. <laughs> oh, unmute yourself. You still. He 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 called him. I I heard him say your mama. Let me stop. <laughs> That's what I heard. Hey, look, he said, well, I see Smitty in the comments section. Smitty, no, Smitty, no, no lies have been told. Smitty, write in the chat, true or false. If if any lies have been told, write lies. If truth has been told, write truth. I didn't tell no lies. He was in her inbox begging. If you really want to know the truth, begging for four months. She showed me the phone. He said that, oh, I take her phone and read it. She showed it to me. And I seen it. And I was like, wow. He can't take a hint. That's all I said. Oh, you look, in the very beginning when I played that, it's not, it's nothing. It's nothing that you did in that video that can be classified, in my honest opinion, as a bitch nigga, like he said. And this is the same person that wants to call everybody young, but last night, well, not last night, but the night before, got mad that somebody called him a baby boomer. And I'm like, dude, how old are you? How old are you, motherfucker? And he wouldn't like, say it. Did he say he, it? No, he mad because of. Uh oh. He hate yeah, millennials, so he hate millennials, so he mad a millennial who's probably to him with Pookie and Ray Ray took his girl from under his nose. <laughs> All it is. Well, you shit, the girl, girl out here. The girl, they look, look, if, if it's the woman that was on there with him that night, look, she says she got a felony. And she she down to fight people. She said all her all her court cases are assault assault charges. So you know, if that's the type of like woman he like to deal with, by all means, man, maybe he trying to build an army. For fight. well, hold on, hold on. For somebody to criticize women the way that they do, I would think that wouldn't be the type of woman he would be around. You would. He's really a walking lie. A hypocrite, right? <laughs> And that's you can't why it's that come out his mouth. You cannot. That's why, that's why it's that's why Alexis titled what she titled. We don't buy it, but we will review it. We will talk about it. And that's what I keep trying to tell to a lot of people. And I only literally I'm sending out a warning right now. Y'all, I'm sending out a warning. And it's not to sound cocky, it's not to sound like an asshole, but it is a warning. Y'all motherfuckers keep crossing somebody, you gonna get something talked about you. You wanna be famous? Well, I'm gonna do that Kevin Samuel shit. Damn, y'all got that? Do y'all? Hey, 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 man, who? Who? Damn, fuck. Does he got translation? Do you got that? I'll make you famous shit. <laughs> he ain't got it. He probably ain't got it. Look, I'll make you famous, motherfucker. <laughs> I'll make you goddamn famous. And I ain't even do it. So you have like more shit. than three fucking viewers in his stream every day. 
Look, like, that's what I, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I'm I'm a transcend YouTuber. I'm a transcend YouTuber. I'll say it multiple times. I'm a trash ass YouTuber. You know what the difference is between that motherfucker and me? I'm better than him. Mm. That's why you mad at you. It's crazy. Like, I didn't meet like just like just so Simon can hear this shit. I didn't meet any of these people that we talking about by going out and searching for them. Mm. Mm. I didn't meet anybody by going out and searching for them, Simon. Why you thinking somebody out here stealing? <laughs> I'm stealing all your fucking men from you. Hey, hold on, hold on. Hey, you know let's, let's cause we on, like I said, we on the we won't buy it, but we'll review it. Uh uncanny. What's your review of uh, a quick review of that situation? How did how did you feel about that when you saw that going down? I don't know what the fuck he was talking about. Like, how do you take people from panels? That's crazy. I don't see people jump on a lot of panels on this uh, YouTube stream. It's not a kind of gay. But I, I think it was because him and Jay got into it on another show. That's what I was hoping he would say. It was, it was on another show that they got into it. I was hoping that's what he would say instead of like, because when he came with, I stole Wally them from him. I'm like, really? Like, I could have, I could have, I could have actually had a real conversation with him. Like, yeah, you cussed me out. And you was talking shit about me, calling me a hoe. I'm like, I, I, look, I can respect that. And I can be like, look, dude, I apologize in the moment for calling you a hoe. But what you was doing with some whole type tendencies, I would have, we would have had that long conversation. I would have been real with him. And I'll say it for y'all right now. Because I'm pretty sure I called him a hoe. Because <laughs> he was over here defending bitch ass shit. So I'm like, I can apologize for calling him out on that type shit. Calling him those names. I will apologize. But... We could have had a conversation on that. Like, dude, you came over and said I stole your friends? But, oh, I'm sorry. They're not his friends. I keep forgetting. <laughs> he said they're not his friends. I stole some people from his supposed network that I don't think anybody fucking knows about. Mm. I think he just need to go, you know, like, I'm not going to say that I mean. Like, dude, you need to go figure that out. You need to go figure that out. Mm. I'm not the one that you're going to solve it with. Go talk to Wally. Go talk to Marcus. Go talk to him. Yeah. Just so if he wants to know, me and Wally had a falling out. Me and Marcus yeah. still cool, but me and Marcus don't really deal with each other because I don't do live streams anymore. So I don't I don't know what the fuck to tell this motherfucker. I don't I don't know what to tell him. But he 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 seemed like he big man. He big man. Like this crazy. Like and he can't. Why would he come up here when we're going in on somebody else? In in like, conspiracy theory, you don't think him and and what's the boy like? Friends? Yeah, yeah. And that's what I told you. That's what I think it might have been. Because otherwise, that's reckless abandonment. Like, why would you do? It's on the high school debate team, motherfucker. Like, I mean, you really want to have a conversation with me? Yeah, that was kind of weird. Because I mean, you and Alexis was going in on them. Lena came up. I came up. It's a bad night for the Jeepers Creepers, you know? So somebody had, to, <laughs> somebody had to steer the conversation away. That's how I felt. I was like, damn, can he jump off the panel right quick? Well, you see what I got on the night. Dun -dun -dun -dun. <laughs> I don't even know that ain't even That is the sound one. <laughs> These motherfuckers better stop playing. That's man. incredible. That's incredible. Yeah. Shit, isn't it incredible? Now he go, incredible stole that shit from 007. Yeah, double seven. Hey, but hold on. Like, did, uh, my bro in the background said, "This is how super villains are made." <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. They gonna get, they gonna get they super movie. villain art. <laughs> they, they super villain art. It's about to be created. Look, hey, but you, uh, since y'all bringing up, since she got on his DC gear, let me go to Marvel. So, uh oh, I gotta get a beer. I love, but um. Miles, the first Spider Man with Miles Morales is uh into the Spider Verse, yeah. Into the Spider -Verse. So, and on there, there's a part where uh, when Miles uh gets to the house, um, to um, 
his aunt's, well, not his aunt's, but Peter's aunt's house. And he's like, uh, and they all in there, uh, Spider-Man Noir. Spider-Man Noir, like, one of my favorites out of there. But he's like, uh, he runs in and he's all like, you know, freaking out because he found out that his uh, uncle is the Prowler. And uh, <laughs> Spider-Man Noir is like, oh man, this is an awesome origin story. <laughs> and the girl kind of like, <laughs> kind of hits them like, what in the world? And I was thinking that too, like, man. Hey, yo, look, I'm telling y'all, uh, Spider-Man Noir is like one of my favorites. Uh, I can't wait for the third part. Well, I guess oh it's the second God. part. Not the third part, the second part to the to the second. <laughs> to, to, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I got you. Know you know what I'm saying? Because and Cat do it. Uh, not Cat Noir. Uh, Spider Man the Wise. And that's my homie. Look, I be quoting uh, in the first one because, like I was saying, when uh, Mouse came in and they they were like, Miles "Hey, were you following?" Huh? No, no. Keep going. I was just saying Miles uh, Morales. Yeah, and uh, they asked him. They were like, "Hey, were you following?" He was like, "I don't know." Maybe and then everybody come in and uh Aunt May is like she's like hey can y'all please take this outside and one of my favorite lines from Spider-Man the War he's like we don't pick the ballroom we just dance <laughs> I was like yeah. and that's one of my favorite parts and I say that to my kids with something to happen and I'll be like hey we don't pick the ballroom we just dance and yeah Spider Noir, I can't wait to see him in that second one. It's just girl crazy. <laughs> look, for real, I can't. That's my look. I, so I was, I was, I was that's my first one, and right then now. I like uh, and then I like Spider Woman, but Spider Noir is my first one. I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't gonna hold you at all. Hey, Good so man. anyway, anyway, what else you want to say about scorching this earth right now? What what else you want to say, Jay? Mm. Look, I, I really want to make a plea. I want to plea out to to all the men in these different spaces. Okay. Because like, like you remember, you remember, I already told you I'm not red pill. I'm not manosphere. I, I'm I'm just you know I I try to be. I try to be y'all, and I know because I I know what I'm about to say. So I want to preface this shit ahead of time so y'all do not think nothing crazy. I know I am not fucking perfect. I know I have my faults. I know I fuck up. I know I do. I know I do. How many times do I need to say this shit, Alexis? I know I do. But, actually, I don't even need to put the button in there. We need more of our men to stop doing this fake-ass shit, man. Like, stop getting out here lying. All of you doing, once you get called out on it, once you get exposed, you make the group look bad. It's the same way that people that argue for the cops when a cop when a bad cop do some messed up stuff, they be like, "That's not all of us. That's not all of us." I don't want to be on the defensive on this side of other people that claim they speak about right and how we need to build ourselves together. I don't want to be defending you, motherfuckers. I just want you to do what you're supposed to do. Can you f up? Yes, you can f up. Everybody's gonna f up. But when you double, triple, quadruple down and never admit fault, the, the same motherfucker that we spoke about tonight tried to charge me fifty fucking dollars to talk to this motherfucker. Nigga, you broke. I'm sorry. I just gotta be real about it. Nigga, are you broke? Do you need some money? If you need some help, just say it. Cause I help you. I'm hit you with the female shit that you argue against. You need some help? I help you. But we got to be real out here as men. Like, dude, we need to have the conversation. If you don't want to conversate, shut the fuck up. Mm. Just shut up. You got to be the example. You got to be the actual final product of what you want to see happen. If I want people to be right, if I want people to do what the fuck they say they're going to do, I want people to know their roles and play it. Dude, I need to be an example of that. Mm -hmm. If you gonna get out here on this internet and say one thing, you better be living that one thing. Stop capping out here. Stop the cap. I'm getting tired of all these fake ass dudes out here. Like I can I can talk about a lot of the bad behavior that a lot of ladies talk about. And this is for all the ladies that say, you never say nothing about the men. I'm saying something about them right now. I'm saying something about them right now. Dudes, we gotta be better than this. Whatever you do, 
Be be one hundred in whatever you do. I don't care what it is. You be showing off some figures on YouTube. You be you be talking on sports. Just be one hundred. Take your feelings out of it. That's what we criticize ladies for. And a lot of y'all bitches walking around with them on your shoulders. Stop doing that shit, man. Grow the fuck up. Be a man. Be the example that you want to see, man. Be the result that you want to see. And I think we 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 will get right, man, because. This shit all cap, man. It's all cap. And V, you a whole ass nigga. Just sorry, I had it later. And, and yeah, I'm done. Look, so how I was feeling was that that was a great final thought. <laughs> you just <laughs> no, what damn, I thought we was at final thoughts. Look, but it's okay. It's okay. I didn't I you know what I'm saying? I still got more. Look, 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 but we're not. We we can you know what I'm saying? And uh lost in translation. If you can uh drop the link because I uh we might have a little back chat conversation. Uh if I put up from the norm is still here because he said he wanted to see it again. So we might have a little you remember we used to call it day after party. <laughs> he might have a little yeah, after, after party. party. Yeah, that after yeah. party, man. That's probably where it go down. Look, but um, yeah, I'm gonna give you know, look. As I stated earlier, Lexus from Texas, we don't buy it, we review it. And and that's a legit statement. That's a that's a true statement that I'm making that we don't buy it, but we we'll review it. That is what I do. And that's how I feel about life period. Like there's certain things that I don't have to put up with. I don't. I'm a I'm an adult person. I'm gonna be gender friendly in this moment, but I'm an adult person that makes their own decisions. Hashtag Simon says. Oh, oh, y'all wasn't ready for the hashtag. Yes, I'm a grown person that makes my own decisions, and if I choose not to go with the BS, that's what I choose to go with. Not the BS. And and even then, I could choose not to go with it. And it doesn't mean that I dislike you. Oh, you in the bed. Oh, this is amazing. It, it, look, it doesn't mean that we, you know what I'm saying, that it got to be anything with malice or hate. But <laughs> that's why we live in a, in a, you know, what someone was saying. Hey, yo, bring, hey, bring him up, Alexis, so I can... Uh... Cause I want to go ahead and get this conversation over. Cause I try wait, to wait, 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 wait. Is there something? Yeah, Israel in the background. I wanted to have a one-on-one -on -one <laughs> conversation with him earlier, but now he up here now, so it's perfect. And I need, I need to get some cigarettes too. So, like, I'm ready to have it real quick, like, cause I'm gonna have to go without some for a second. So, hey, hey, intellectual, you, you get, you can you get them up? Um, is it? Coming up at one o'clock, I need y'all to rock with me. No, no, no. Oh, damn. I thought he was in the back. Damn. That was the video I put up there. Fucking, uh, damn. I thought he was cool. I actually but thought no. he wanted to hear this for me, too. My final thought was going to be funny as shit. Well, here, hit your final thought because I, actually I did want to play that video because, uh, oh, I got a point that is... I wanted to point out. Okay. I I'm going to say my final thought and get off. Um, no, no, hey, that... no, save your final thought. Save it. Okay. Save it for a second. All right. Play, All right. play that, play that video again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, intellectual. I'm, I, I'm a little sorry. early on uh, certain parts of the country too. Couple of what? I like that shot. Man. Yeah, man. Why? Well, men who put so much attention into other men. That shit is gay to me. This nigga called me seven. Now, I wanted to point that out because Uncanny, you remember he started off this video by talking about you. But once again, he said, what again? Hold on, let me do it one more Into time. other men. That much attention into other men. That shit is gay to me. So men that put other attention into other men, that shit is gay to him. But he is doing exactly what he said is gay. So, sir, are you trying to tell me something? Since we're going to play that gay card. Because I think that's some whole ass shit. 
that any man would say. I expect that. Look, look, no bullshit. I expect that from a woman. I do not expect that from a man. Yep. I did it tonight. <laughs> ah, it. It. Oh, my Ain't gonna hold it. I'm just trying. I'm trying to make sure everybody know what the fuck we talking about tonight. Last part. Call, call it another man. Call a grown man back to back to back to back. For what? I have nothing to say to you. Nothing. You don't even exist now. You over here. Funny, funny ass motherfuckers. But we got, you know. It ain't free free to move around the cabin, but we got uh we got something for that, you know. We definitely got something for that. Scotty, beam him up. Oh, beam him down. I'm sorry. He said beam him down. We have this. He can't see he trying to kick people off. He don't know how to do it. Oh no, took the video off. Scotty. Wanna beam down, Scotty. On beam. So we're going The man doesn't have a good internet connection. Just just don't well, out there. But where is that thing about my girl Grace? I don't understand, That's man. So obviously now we got somebody wants to show. I don't know what the fuck he's talking. Yeah, here we go. Men who put so much attention. Um, I, I, I don't understand, man. Why? What? Men who put so off. I'm struggling right now. I'm, I'm he said I'm struggling so, streaming. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm a little uh, he, he was off. He was struggling. He was struggling. Why? Nope. Nope. Where's that? Where is that? I can't remember why I, I, I say that because he said a lot of shit. Funny that call call it a what is wrong with you, bitch niggas, man. I, well, I never had a men. No, actually, I did a video on it one time before. Another bitch nigga did that. Call call it another man. Call a grown man back to back to back to back. For what? Me, I have nothing to say to you. Nothing. You don't even exist now. You over here. Funny. Funny ass motherfuckers. But we got, you know, it ain't free free to move around the cabin, but we got uh we got something for that. You know? Okay. We yeah, definitely yeah. got something for that. Fast forward. I can't find this shit, y'all. So we gonna hand. Um, oh, it's coming down. Bunch of, a bunch of uh, screen names. So look at that. Why are y'all still following me? Y'all are happy. Live y'all life. Um, not to talk to me or worry about what I'm... <laughs> Hell, at least she know me. I don't even know what that is. Um, okay. So streaming right now he's talking about but um i i, I don't understand man why what into other men hey yeah, I, I, that's the wrong video i can't find that fucking shit i ain't finna keep clicking around that motherfucker <laughs> shit. uncanny back to you i'm sorry right. no how uncanny look no disrespect though candy but you know what i'm gonna get mines at the end since they just gonna run everything i mean look look i'm sorry Dang, I'm David Ruffin. You supposed to be playing Eddie. I don't know nothing about that. You too old for me. <laughs> <laughs> that oh, you let that Hispanic know you. Then I'm sorry. <laughs> Everybody know the temptations. I can't believe. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm not old enough, or either I just didn't pay attention. I'm sorry. You want to say me? I'm black. I'm not black enough. I'm not oh, black enough. Can't say that. Nah. nah, but go ahead, Kenny. Go ahead. All right, all right. So my final thoughts is, um, he said he was that Lena was gonna come see him in May, but she's gonna come see me in May, and I'm gonna take her to Pound Town. That's all I gotta say for that, man. Oh, uh, you huh? heard it, V? 
pound town, nigga. That's it. That's enough of my pettiness. I'm I'm gonna disappear from Facebook. I mean YouTube. Unless you're doing something Monday. <laughs> he said, "Let you do it." <laughs> I'm doing a whole breakdown, man. I'm gonna do a whole breakdown. Like this right here is uh now Alexis had a great top, so I wanted to bring that over, but I know she shares the same sentiment because this was something that was highly regulated when this person Simon, just so you know, when this person came over to my channel, you know, we actually had conversations about, yeah, this shit's gotta stop. And now this person is just mad. They're mad. And they're running around getting mad that people are calling them out. But I think there should be a PSA out here about fake ass niggas. And I'm 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 willing to oblige being the police on that. And that's what we're doing. So we don't agree. Yeah. I agree, you know, because I mean he was lucky I don't have a pan with a thug on because I would have been came back at him. But he should, he should talk for like twelve fucking panels. Okay, I got you. <laughs> I don't, I don't understand why that man keep tra- keep talking about you, man. Like, and that's the funny thing about me, because I'm like, dude, you said you don't care. You said you don't care him. the first, the first one, but you keep keep talking about this man. Because Lena blocked him. Lena blocked him on Facebook. Lena blocked him on her phone twice. That's what it is. Can't I didn't tell her to do that. Hey, but think about it. This is the same man that says don't date. <laughs> women with kids. <laughs> but he over here going hard, super hard to try to get some like look look I'm I'm gonna let him know right now because I I had conversations with Lena. She think you crazy and you old. <laughs> and you're not even really that old. You look old. Mm. You look like you done had a you went through a crack epidemic. Like oh. I'm just trying to let you know. We know what it look like. You look like he off something. And that's why that's one of the big reasons she don't want to fuck with you, dude. Oh man, give you worms. Let me stop. <laughs> just just like them like just look, just like them ladies say, like just like dudes get pissed off at girls for using old photos of themselves in their profile pictures. Uh somebody need to stop using an old profile picture of himself 20 years ago. Cause sir, you don't look like that. I say that with a straight face, cause it's it's not a joke. It's not a joke. You get to like, know. Like, big, Lena just wanted big pun over Jeepers Creepers. That is what it is. Oh, the I name drop. The name drop. I can't do nothing about it. Respect, Uncanny, for the name drop. Respect. He said big pun. I'm saying, yo, man, man. We got to be better, man. We got to be better as men, especially people that come out here and claim that they they are king of a space. Definitely. I keep saying that shit. Stop saying you a king and ain't nobody referencing you. What Chris Brown said? Can't even get in the club or some shit? Oh, how you talking? It's from outside the club. Yeah, you can't even get in. You're not known in these manosphere fucking places. They don't know you. Like, legit, who's man? Whose man's is this? I say, get your man's. Nobody <laughs> says anything. <laughs> it's quiet in that bitch. Hey, it's, it's, it's no longer there. Hey, but it's I want to let y'all know. I want to let y'all know that you know what I'm saying. It's to bring it back. It was. It was fun. It was fun. Yeah, yeah. I had a good time. I had a great so time. You know what I'm saying? An awesome time. This was awesome. I'm glad I got to do this because I'm not going to be doing a lot of this. But because of circumstances and because I go back, you know what I'm saying? I go back. Um, and I felt, I felt some way about that show that night, and um. I ain't like it not one bit. Like I ain't like it like uh if you seen Belly and you remember a dude was standing on the block and he saw all the uh DMX and Nas and he was eating that banana, he was like, I don't like it. Oh yeah, yeah, like yeah. You know what I'm talking about? When they were, when they were the <laughs> yes. Yeah. Look, look, look. I don't like it. I ain't like what I saw the other night. Um, especially knowing what I know about that person 
And I, I just didn't like it. And I just wanted the opportunity to call it out and also talk about the items that I got that y'all could actually see. It's no faking. You know what I'm saying? I ain't acting like I'm doing reviews and I'm not. So my final thoughts. In my review of everything, real quick, quick breakdown. I can't wait to use my new wave little oven thing slash air fryer slash slash hashtag thing. Um, I'm enjoying my bar stools. I got my feet on one and I'm chilling in the other. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to using my tire inflator. And um, yeah. And my door, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's doing what it does. So we're, we're happy about that. Cheers. Then my review of this episode real quick. Um, just be you. You know what I'm saying? B-E-A-U. Because that's how you spell out almost you gotta put some other letters to it but beautiful be you it is beautiful don't try to come out and try to impress these people that are not signing your checks if you are out here making videos and you're making money from youtube for making videos these people are not signing your checks it's whoever does it at youtube but it's nobody out here if you're out in the real world working and people want to talk mess about you they're not signing your check they don't pay the bills in your home it's none of that and in a moment of having discernment and knowing what battles to fight now i ain't gonna say that i had like some big revelation in this battle but I wanted to do it, so I did, because I'm a grown person that can make her own decisions. And I had a good time. I really did. So, that's my review. I hope y'all like the show. And shout out to all the people that fell through. Um, uh, shout out to David for always holding me down when I need him. I appreciate you. Shout out to the big bro, Lit. <laughs> Lit, for holding Little sis down, appreciate you. Shout out to everybody. Don't be looking like that. Shout out to everybody uh, in the chat that came through. I appreciate all y'all. So, made this thing look spicy. <laughs> look, that was my shimmy. That was my shimmy. <laughs> I love it. Oh my God. Look, 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 hold on, hold on. Before you leave, before you cut it, look who came into the comment section. I see. I see. <laughs> uh, good. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Good to see you in the chat. Well, yes, go ahead do a replay. You probably like it. Yeah, hey, Jane, I got your back too because I remember what he said to you too. <laughs> I remember what he said to you too. So, man, look. yeah, you see it, you see it. Hell, just know we did that for you. We did that for you. This is crazy. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, Alexis, I'm sorry. Yes, thank you, dang. Cat, let me be, <laughs> let me be. But nah, but yo, did, we have fun. We have fun, and um, uh. The link was dropped. We're going to have a little after party and talk and all that stuff in the back. If anybody want to come up and, and shoot the ish with us, you know what I'm saying? You're more than welcome. So yeah, yeah, on that know, note. Yeah, yeah. Tell them, drop the link real quick like so they, so they can click on it. Because Jane, I want you to come up too. Jane, come up to the after party. Come yeah. up to the after party. Because after the show, it's the after party at. Yeah. Hey, hey, but hey, it's a hotel lobby. And also, <laughs> I know that shit. <laughs> would you now? Um, you would know an R. Kelly song, wouldn't you? You wouldn't know an R. Kelly. Now, let me see. Oh, shit. This 
this is actually a good show, man. Alexis, I like I like how you get down, girl. Look, look, look. You you cheated on me hard, but you are doing a good job, so I can't get mad at you. Hey, per Simon, I had I had I had a uh, you know he would take up for me cheating on you. Oh yeah, Simon, he a hater. <laughs> <laughs> but hey yo, but y'all look, I'm telling you, this is y'all favorite reviewer, favorite reviewer. Click them links. If you if you like any of any of the stuff, click the links, buy something, or just click the links. That shows me love too, y'all. So facts. Facts. And uh big bro lit, lit, lit. Can you take us out? <laughs>